And welcome to the Opie and Anthony program. What is yeah? Well, lots going on today, Anthony. How is uh, everybody feeling? Well, huh? let's take a, a little check on how everybody's feeling. I'm, uh, I'm all right. Hey, there's something you don't see in a toilet every day. Yeah. Hope he had a salad shooter dump before the show, so I hear. It was I was thr- trying to eat my tuna on white toast, and he's describing describing how stringy it was. <laughs> well, sometimes Jesus, you're proud man. of your dump, and you gotta you gotta show. Trying to eat. I'm trying to eat. It was one of those thready kinds. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> it's breaking apart. Thready. Kind of like if you uh, if you eat um, shredded wheat and you leave it in the milk too long. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of falls apart on its own. Tender, like stew meat. Brown <laughs> ivy. <laughs> Awful. Ivy. Uh, feeling okay though? I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't party too uh, too much last night. Ben threw his own birthday party last night. Ben knows how to throw a bash. Jesus Christ. Yes. He can throw a party, man. That was a damn good time. The only complaint that uh, I had and a couple other people had uh, was walking to the bar and asking for a Captain Morgan and Coke, and there was no captain. And I kept seeing, it was funny as hell, I go there and I'm like, ah, no captain, all right, I'll get a, a absolute screw, a screwdriver or something. So I sit down, and I'm drinking, I see Stinky come over to the bar, goes to the bartender, and I read his lips, Captain Morgan and Coke. And the bartender just shakes his head, I can't hear a thing, but I know it. And St- Stinky made that face like, now what? Now you got to stand there and try to decide what you're going to have. The bartender, so that was the only uh, downside. The bartender that looked like uh, an extra from Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where that bartender come from? Really right it. out of the 70s, man. The roadie yeah. from Foghat. <laughs> yeah, he was cool, though. We were just going back and forth. Like what he looked like. Born on 4th of July. It was amazing. Yeah, so nice. the only time I want to see that look is on a crucifix. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yep. Jesus with the wild Bill Hickok mustache and beard combo. How did you not know there was no Captain Morgan? There weren't funny red mustaches on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Dressed like a pirate. So Ben throws his own birthday party yeah. at a place called uh, the Happy Yankee Ending. Cranky? Oh, no. Happy Ending. The Happy Ending. Yeah. But there is no sign out front. Yeah, no sign. What's up with that? So you uh, you felt a little strange and weird and feeling a little guilty as you walk in this place because it says uh, Chinese Spa yeah. or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's the official sign outside. Now, you kind of get a little uh, leery of what you're going to be walking into. Oh, here it is. The, the Zai He Health Club, <laughs> better known as the Happy Ending. And basically, it's an old Chinese massage parlor. Uh, that they turn into this really hip, cool New York club. Club, yeah. It's been written about in the the local papers and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they still had the saunas and the Yankee cranky little rooms. That's what I was saying. I, I saw all the saunas. They're old saunas, and now they put tables in there, and it's kind of a little getaway booth They still have the people. tiles and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I thought it was the Yankee cranky rooms. I thought that's where maybe they had a bed in there and a little cot, and you got your Yankee crank on. I don't know. Those were the saunas. Was it? Yeah, I do believe. So the whole area, I guess, was where yeah. there'd be separate little, yeah, blocked off areas and yeah, because they kind of left the place how it was when they were yanking and cranking. I never went to a Yankee cranky shop. I never been to a Yankee cranky. And, uh, and Jim, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fan of them, yeah. I can't believe yeah. you even had to ask. Yeah. I, well, that's why I was saying. <laughs> See, Jim is so much on that side of it. I thought Yankee Cranky would be like nah, minor league stuff. You know. You know what? You're right. I've done yeah. it probably three or four times in my life. But you mm-hmm. got to start somewhere with never. your. No, I went later in life. I, really? I a legitimate massage once. I was looking for. A happy ending. A little and, and crankage. Oh, she should have been working for like a sports team. She's digging her fingers into my back and my neck, and I'm like, yeah. all right, this sucks. And I Roll over. over. And I'm trying to hint. I'm arching my hips back. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing something. Nothing. You're missing this muscle. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I'm like, should I tip you? And she's like, no. So you, there wasn't a Yankee cranky shop. And that was one. And the other one I went to was a house at like three in the morning, and it really well, it was more than Yankee cranky. Was, oh, really? Yeah, two people on the table. And uh, just the look, the eyes, her eyes were closed, and she was looking away, like probably just thinking of better times. Oh, disgusted. Yeah. Oh, really got me yeah, going. That does sound like a bad experience. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> That's right. You should feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hierarchy of the Asian women that uh, come to New York City. Yep. When they ship them over in those big uh, container vessels and empty them out for their slave labor. 
They got three jobs they could choose from, but mm -hmm. I don't think they are, they're allowed to choose. They all come and they start in the Yankee Cranky shop. They're appointed, yeah. And then if they're lucky enough, they get moved to the nail places. Right. And then if they do a good job in the nail places, they get the ultimate job, mm -hmm. waitress at sushi restaurant. At sushi place. Yeah. We have it all figured out. And the second, see, you know why they're so good with their service at the sushi place, too? Where they walk around, make sure that, oh, they're good, everything. Oh, so sorry, I get you the tea you asked for. Because yeah. if they screw up, what happens? Back to the nail place. Back to the nail place. one step above the Yankee Cranky shop. Yeah, and We got it all figured out. Somewhere. We talked about this for hours one day. Because we saw our waitress, and she was all nervous in her thin little Asian arms. And she was scared that she was going to get the order wrong. Yeah. And, and we could tell that she was on thin ice as far as the, the, um, the sushi restaurant I was under the impression she just got bumped up, maybe a double promotion, because she had bruises on her arms, <laughs> where probably she was being abused in some fashion. Yeah, it looked like finger marks just, on those little Asian stick arms. Someone just holding them as they go over the edge. <laughs> oh, please don't send me back. So I, I, no. I guess Ben's party was so hip that some of the local um, newspapers want to write about it. Yeah. There were some uh, celebs down there. Andrew W.K. Uh, showed up. He showed up. We were hanging, drinking. He had a blast. Yeah. And uh, uh, Chris Barron was there from the Spin Doctors. Me and Chris Barron were talking for a while. He was drinking the uh, Jameson. He's like Pharrell. He likes the uh, Jameson. Hanging out, talking music. Uh, he was the head of the party. Everyone uh, couldn't believe that he was there. Oh, my God, it's the guy from the Spin Doctors. Yeah. It's pretty cool. He's got the band back together. Yeah. They're they touring the, around. They had the biggest band in America in the early 90s. Sure did. Boss Certainly did. <laughs> Voss. First of all, okay, look, there's dim, it's nice club atmosphere, dim lighting. A lot of candles and stuff. A lot of candles, very cool room. Voss comes in, I swear to God, it was, he looked like Uncle Sambo. <laughs> all I saw was his glowing choppers. The guy is going to get, Voss, are you listening somewhere? You're going to get skin cancer. You're going to get skin cancer. Did you see how dark this Jew was? Yes. And he swears it's from golfing. He's like one of the original got... Jews from B.C. Oh, golfing my ass. Because at one point, he's, he's got... showing the ladies. He lifts up his shirt to show his abs to ladies. His stomach was just it was darker than his face. What's he? I do shirtless golf. <laughs> he's he's not abs. shirtless golfing. <laughs> Stop it. You're tanning. You're sunning. You're doing something. He's sunning his skin right off. It, he's like an alligator. The guy is, he was blacker, just about as black as Earl. And this yeah. is why, and they're not quite as lazy. And this is why, Voss, you're finished in this business. We were talking, and the name Tommy Matola came up, and Voss went, Who? Who's he? That's why you're finished in this business. Does he own the company that puts out Lean Cuisine? <laughs> <laughs> who's Tommy Matola? He doesn't know who Tommy no, Matola is. He doesn't know who Tommy Matola is. Ass. What a. Buffoon. <laughs> He's talking. Yes. Dude, I swear to you. I swear to you. I'm not exaggerating. I'm talking to him. And it was. He is so dark. And it was just candlelight and stuff. It wasn't like it was pitch black. Yeah. I could not see features on his face. <laughs> I saw his eyes. And I saw his teeth. And then, like, you could tell there was facial features there somewhere. But he's so dark now. You thought it was dark last time it was in? It. It's unbelievable how dark Voss is now. All over. And he's I, I, I golf. That's what happens. I golf and I get a lot of sun. No, you're not golfing shirtless. And he was trying to pick up all the ladies there. Uh, all of them. Nobody friends. was safe. No. No girl was safe in there. He's hitting on women that are there with their husbands. Married women standing right next to the husbands. Hey, can I buy you a house? It's like, who's the colored guy propositioning all the chicks? See, Voss also thought, yesterday when he calls me, he goes, just let all the ladies know that Voss will be there. I'm like, Voss, there's a lot of people there that don't even, would never know who you are, you know? I mean, let he, everyone know. He was hitting on my architect's uh, wife, and I'm just like, dude. Oh, he, God. He's got a ring on a, just the most ridiculous, worst lines. Are, and then he would just go right to the next married chick. Of course. You know? He That's his bad. game. He doesn't mean it. He's genuinely dumb. <laughs> Me, him, and, and this it's guy, obvious. Kevin Hart, comedian, we're all sitting on the stoop talking. And this girl walks by, and she happens to notice me. And she's like, oh, hey, weren't you at such and such last year? I, she, like, went to a gig, and I happened to be doing it. 
So we're talking, and this dummy, he doesn't even mean to be a C-blocker. He just starts talking. Oh, you're from Michigan? Oh, it's pretty cold out there. Blah, blah. And he just starts. <laughs> totally C-blocking. And me, and, but not not in a malicious, awful way. He's not in trying to be a scumbag. He's Dolt Voss way. He really is a clod. And then me and Kevin looking at each other like, what is this ass doing? And then, and then Dummy finally realizes what he's doing. He has like the moment of clarity. <laughs> and then he points at me and he goes, he's really funny, isn't he? He's like, shut up. Trying to recoup. Yeah. Help you out now. Your after awful C-blocking. compliments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a hit. He was just walking around. That was just a really good time. We got to thank Liquid Todd. Liquid great. Todd was spinning. Great job. Does a great job. Star studded, and then at the end of the night, just with Psycho Mark uh, making his appearance, <laughs> loud as ever, talking about the most politically incorrect things one can say. He's he's gearing up for a big war that's going to be happening. He's gearing up. What kind of war? You know, a race war against who? He's convinced that the, there's going to be a race war. What in, does in he, this country? Does he realize that blacks and and whites are getting along uh, better than we've ever have? And you know who else no, thought, he, he thinks that's he, the calm before the storm. You know who else thought there'd be a big race war? Manson. That's who thought there'd be a big race war, and he would take over and lead the blacks. That's what Manson thought, and not, that's what Mark thinks. Manson, not quite as crazy as Psycho Mark, though. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think we're more worried about the Middle Easterns. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he just puts sand in front of the word he was using. Oh, God. <laughs> and he's saying it so loud, and he's just acting like, uh, just like a jackass. And then, gack, gack, gack. Hollywood Rich, a guy who actually Mark stole all his material from from Boston. <laughs> yeah, he was down there. He was there screaming. I, he does like a dog. What, what would you? I don't know that what as? that is. It sounds like a foghorn kind of yell thing, and he uh, it's so lo- it's louder than you would think any human can make a noise over the the music that was playing. You hear oh 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 like this sound, and you're looking over, and there's Psycho Mark and his buddy sitting there laughing their asses off. Oh look, Mark's on the phone. Hey, Mark. Hey, what's up, boys? How are you? How, how are you feeling today? Oh, a little hungover after last night's debauchery. <laughs> what is going on with the ra- impending race war? Oh, in which department? Refresh my memory. I was a little bit out of it last night. Well, I hear you're stockpiling stuff for an upcoming uh, w- race war. What? What is Ben talking S for? Oh, get Ben. You were saying it last night, dude. You were telling Anthony about the race war and how you're prepared. What race war? Oh, oh, right. You're preparing for a race war? Ben, you're tripping. I never said that. You did, too. You were, what was he yeah. saying? Anthony was right there. You were. Anthony was laughing so hard. Oh, it was great. Oh. Yeah. You, you, oh, was, so what was I talking about? All the, uh, the guys that work in front of Fox? There's no race wars coming. No, no, not not in the near future. I we, hope we, shouldn't all, I, we shouldn't all stockpile Uzis <laughs> like you were saying last night. <laughs> I never said that. This is so full of crap. I need my job at Fox. I can't you, be saying you these things. You shut up on a syndicated oh, radio God. show. <laughs> I hear you, Mark. Hey, I'm not a racist. I hate everybody equally. Mark, you coming up to Boston for the... Uh... Sam Adams. Yeah, thing? believe it or not, Jim Cook cordially invited me, so I'll have to make a journey up to Boston. You know how when Jim Cook comes into our studio, we all sit and drink Sam Adams until we're ready to fall down. Yeah, they do the same thing at Fox in the morning. Jim Cook was there doing uh, an appearance on uh, what show? Fox and Friends. Yeah, Fox and Friends. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mark is there by like nine o'clock. He's hammered. Everybody was hammered. You would think TV would be a little different than radio if uh, the beer guy comes in and you want to sit and tip a few with him. On the radio, it's like, all right, it's not TV. But uh, everyone was just hammered. You should have seen the camera shots by halfway through the show. They were beautiful. Is this going to be the soundtrack to the race war? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Grab your weapons. Here they come. Look, I'm getting them out of my uh, my apartment building window. Black Hawk down! Black Hawk down! <laughs> load, load up! Oh. Lock and load. Yeah, Yo, you're gonna like this one. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta give him a little 20 mic mic. <laughs> there goes the Vulcan. All right, get out of here, Mark. <laughs> See you later. Hey, Mark. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, what an easy mark. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Marianne, you were at the party last night? What? No, I wasn't. Oh. Oh, she wants to go to the party. Oh, the uh, other Tuesday. party that we're throwing. Okay. Yeah. All right, hold on one second. So I guess that's all we have to say about Ben's party last night, right? Yeah, yeah. It was Except a good time, for the though. the fact that uh, Steve in his tiny little stomach had a little too much to oh drink last oh, night. Oh, wait God, a minute. Was yeah. he loaded. My God, we got to bring this up. Tiny get, little stomach. Get Steve from FoundryMusic.com. Get Sparrow Guts in here. Dude, <laughs> he looked like he was on heroin. His eyes were rolling around. That uh, thousand-yard uh, marine stare? Oh, boy, was he cranking Steve, on. everyone knows by now, had his uh, stomach stapled. He used to be a really big guy. He's lost over 100 pounds. You know what the worst part is? Uh, he doesn't know. But he's having a tough time realizing that he can't drink anything. As much as it used to. Here he comes. Wow. <laughs> Steve, what I do? Dude, I, you what a stare. You, you had the stare of death last night. What? Just How come reports? you get so angry when you, you drink? I wasn't <laughs> Everyone angry. else around here gets very happy. We all get jolly. We laugh. Uh, we, we, we talk and have a good time. You're the only one in our group. That gets this look like Private Pile before he blew his brains out on the toilet. I swear to you, I have no recollection of this. Uh, that's the problem. I, I'm standing there, Steve and his girlfriend are there, and I'm standing there, and, and, and Steve's like, oh, man, I think I messed up my stomach. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? Uh, He's like, yeah. I drank too much, my stomach, and he had this pained look on his face, and his girlfriend's like, oh, it's time to get him out. She gets, <laughs> time to leave. She didn't say it, but it was in her eyes. It was like, oh, time to go. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Uh oh. No, I I, I, I have um I've I've gotta watch it because in terms of amounts, I'm not actually drinking any more than I was. In fact I'm drinking less. It's just the effect is so much different now yeah. after this operation that I really have to You were never belligerent before? <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> Apparently, this is uh, this is new territory for me. I've never been in, in more situations than I have been in the past six months where I'm not remembering <laughs> what the hell I did. I can't imagine. imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine you not being with everybody uh, from the show when you're out drinking because we have uh, a lot of the people with the show has have kept you out of trouble, imminent trouble, trouble that was absolutely going to happen. I, 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 I just keep hearing about this. Steve. Calm down, man. Steve, come here. Walk away from this situation. Because you're looking at people, you get the look, uh -huh. your head goes down, you kind of look through the top of your eyes, you're like, and it's like, mother effer. <laughs> yeah, that mother eff looks at me one more effing time, we got to kick his effing ass. I did. And it's like, what? what did he do oh, to you? Yes, yeah, Steve. He did it I, last night? I don't know. Who the hell was I doing that you, to? You were, you were nice to, to my best friend, Dave. You were cool, and then I like an Dave. hour later... You went up to him and you call him an effing sea bag and all this stuff. <laughs> and then you don't even know then, the guy. Then overall, he was on the other side. Of, you were like at one end of the bar and you just kept flipping him off and f you to him. So Dave comes up. Dave's also very big. Oh, and very I tough would too. never even think of effing with that guy. <laughs> so he comes up to me. He goes, dude, you know that guy Steve really has a problem. He just flipped me off. <laughs> he goes, he's a real dick. He goes, dude, I don't want to start a fight or anything. I don't want to fight, but I, he keeps flipping me off and saying f you to me from the other end of the bar. Steve doesn't have any rec recollection of this, nor does he remember dumping a martini all over Opie's brother. No, 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 no. I got, I got bumped by a waitress. That I have full recollection of. Yeah, I was sitting next to Opie's brother, Quinn, and, uh, and his waitress bumped into me and dumped a martini did all over me. Did you call her a C? Yeah. No, that was apparently while I still had a memory. And did you punch Quinn and Opie? <laughs> all right, I really got to watch when you, the when you can't remember. Your chick night, was rolling her eyes cool. going, I got to get him out of here. He's gone. Yeah. Oh. You're headed for a murder. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> On official website. <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard stuff from up uh, in uh, Buffalo when uh, you guys went out. Ben was saying, like, uh, just t like yesterday in the office, he was telling you what you were saying, and you were like, no way. No yeah. way. You was leaving the place and saying, yeah. F these women, <laughs> F women. I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> women suck. And no, well, that Big was the Kev remembers all of it. See, he was <laughs> sober. I go, dude, this is great stuff. Remember all this. And he was reminding me some of the stuff. I, <laughs> all right. Apparently, I'm not supposed to be drinking. We made Steve. The best uh, with Steve, when he gets really hammered, he'll do just about anything. So. Yeah. We're hanging out at one of these clubs on Chippewa, and there's a bunch of girls hanging, right? Yeah. I go, Steve, go up to these girls and tell them that we're millionaires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he goes, hey, hey ladies, uh, 
we're millionaires. And then he goes, <laughs> and then he goes, new gag. Yeah, it's a new gag. And then he goes, you, you don't mind that we're millionaires, do you? <laughs> Every two seconds in the conversation is brought up how everyone in the group is a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, was a, fun. You, you don't, don't mind uh, me being a millionaire, do you? <laughs> and then the girls have to try to, you know, uh, explain that they don't mind. Right. No, we don't mind. But uh, not that no. we're millionaires, but it's very funny to do. Yeah. No, of course. And another observation now from uh, from the party. Frenchie's on the phone. I've oh. noticed something about Frenchie. Frenchie. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? You are the biggest pussy ever. Oh, really? Is that is it's that so? You know why? Why? What happened? You, in front of your lovely wife, uh -huh. you Beautiful. will not do... Hot. You will not be Frenchy. You are my. I was for a little while. You, what are you talking no, about? You don't even get hardcore. People are there and they want to hear you like, suck it, you whore back. And he's like, <laughs> yes, suck it. Then my wife would be horrified. Say, shut up, you stupid French F. He goes, <laughs> yes, suck it. Hi, I'm Frenchy. And, and no see sucking in the evening. What do you think, huh? <laughs> His wife is you got to get that at least. Yeah, very pretty. Your wife is very pretty, man. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, she has a nice rack, doesn't she? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't well, look at her rack out of respect. Well, I think everyone was, though. That's great, Frenchie. <laughs> and uh, also, I wanted to say hello to Steve, but I saw he was, like, totally effed up on the corner with a girl uh, talking to him. I guess it was his girlfriend. I wanted yeah. to introduce uh, him to my wife and say, you know what? Forget about it. He <laughs> <It> was totally <laughs> annihilated on the side. Annihilated? <laughs> you were annihilated <laughs> or annihilated? <laughs> <laughs> totally effed up. It was good, though, last night. It was a good time. Oh, yeah. All right, Frenchie. Yeah, thank you. Hi guys, have a good weekend. Yeah. And Anthony, you know what? Suck it. Yes. Suck Die. it. All right. Big Cab, what's going on? Steve C, and the C is for combative. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to you? No, nothing. I was just I was with him both times in Buffalo and last night at the party, and wow, it's what? something else. And that whole millionaire story is just you're, you're only getting the tip of the iceberg. Because when the girls left, and we left that bar, Steve was going, oh, stupid girls, just stupid, they're idiots. <laughs> yeah, I remember being a little angry. Yeah. Yeah, well, and what about this? What about the strip club that we I walked remember. in? I remember. We walked into a lousy strip club in Buffalo. There was one black chick doing a pole dance, and it sucked. And Ben, before we even, before even scoping the place out, sits down and starts having a drink. I walk out. I, I walk into the club. Oh, is that what you remember, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> I remember walking into a strip club, club full of black guys, and you screaming, "This place sucks! Let's get the f out of here!" Oh, I can't believe this place. As we're walking through the club with everyone looking at us. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. You've got to watch that. That's ass. what I remember. You have got to watch your ass. Uh, we didn't get beat up. We're fine. Yeah. All right, big Kev. Take care. Kev. Right. You can fall hey, for that. Never for know. It. Malik, what's up? Hey. Hello. Yo, what's what up, Tim Juices? What's up, Malik? It was cracking. Yo, I want to give a shoot out to my man, Psycho Mark. Yeah. Yo, tell that racist I'm ready for his race war. You know what I mean? Tell him to come around the hood. Ah, you barking that cat. Ah. <laughs> Yo, stop playing, plus. All right, Malik, thank you. All right, man, All right. peace. I said nothing of the sort. <laughs> I didn't say it. What are you talking about, Ben? <laughs> Last night, it's coming, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, stock up. I'm stockpiling. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the other, the other, Hold on, guys. The, the other funny thing, too, about Mark, I don't know if you guys noticed last night, too, there's a lot of my friends really don't like Mark. Oh, you know, like He's like banned from our ski house and like a lot of different things. <laughs> And it's great if you need a table with Mark because he clears it right out. Like, there were a few people just horrified. And I see my friend Ryan go, oh, God, here he comes. <laughs> and he just got up and moved to the other end of the bar when he saw Mark come. Because, you know, Screw him. him. Yeah. He doesn't want to be in the presence of greatness. <laughs> That's all. That's his problem. <laughs> all right. Hey, we're going to step aside, Ant. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully Marianne can hold on because we've got to get more girls for this crystal meth. Oh, method. yeah, Marianne, hold on. Party. we got guys coming down with lasers and all sorts of stuff. Really? Oh, it's gonna yeah. It's going to be a huge party. It's turning out to be an, uh, a pretty cool thing. Marianne. Yeah. Hold through the commercials, okay, and we'll talk to you. Okay, thanks. All right, we'll go right to you next, all right? She's going to try out for the party, Anthony. We'll explain in a minute or two. Right. Also, uh... Uh, we got ratings in Boston, and we'll talk Boston. about that in a few minutes, okay? Right. One, two, three, four, hit it! 
Oh, naked girls. Oh, naked girls. Turn, turn, turn it on. Turn, turn, turn it on. Oh, porno. Oh, porno. It's not good for you. It's not good for you. Who else gives you porno and comedy at the same time? A stupid program called the Opie and Anthony Show. M-E-W. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Uh, we got a huge party we're putting together for Tuesday. Our friends uh, Crystal Method stopping by. I am so psyched for this. Their CD's coming out Tuesday, and uh, they were just going to come by and say hi. They were like, hey, could you be kind of like the house band for the day? And then we said, hey, we'll invite some hot girls down here. Now we got people involved that are setting up lasers and all sorts of things outside the studio. It's going to be a cool time. But we want the ideal um, girls here, right? Right. Yeah, uh, for some reason, yesterday, we're picking girls. And I'm thinking, just like any other thing we do, we just have to get as many girls down here as we can. We usually, for some reason in the past, have had a problem getting the girls down here. So when Opie started turning girls down based on their height, saying, this girl's under five feet tall, she can't come. I'm like, what? Opie, what? what are you, what? you're insane. Then, slowly, I realized, oh, my God, this is brilliant. It's only girls that are perfect for this event. Yeah. It's going to be a, we're calling it a pre-20 party. <laughs> yeah, but then all of a sudden girls in their late 20s were calling. Yeah. Off. We'll go up to, you know, like 24, 25. Yeah. As long as they look like they are pre-20. They got to look a certain way. Uh, they can't. They can't be. Su- well, I don't want to give too much away because we got a couple girls I want to try out. Right. You have to act younger too. Like if you're over 25 and you have Down syndrome, it's acceptable. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Marianne. Yeah. Hi, Marianne. Hi. Hi. Uh, you want to be part of the party on Tuesday? Yes, I do. Crystal Method party. Yes, I do. All right. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Why are you doing that with your voice? <laughs> Why are you doing that with your voice? Because. It's it's almost, I, I think I know what you're going for. You're going for sexy, you're coming off as whiny. <laughs> no, not at all. All right, you know what? Well, let's give her a shot. You don't know. She's, she's nervous awful. on the radio. She doesn't have to talk. Maybe this is the one that we don't bring in to talk on the air. Yeah. All oh, right. geez. And you got a stupid cell phone ring. Well, you know what? That does. Let's 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 all. Hey, hey, hey! We get off on the wrong foot here. All right, Mary How tall Ann. a gal are you? If I could uh, right, good. ask the question, Opa's going to ask. Go ahead. Hello. How tall are you? How tall am I? I'm five three. Yeah. All right. You fat? No, I'm not fat at all. What do you weigh? Excuse me. What do you weigh? I weigh one twenty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have a little bit of a butt. All right. Uh, no, I got a big butt. Nice. What do you mean by big butt? I got a big butt. What's your nationality? I'm German, Italian, Swedish, and Irish. Is your arm asleep, Opie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I Is don't. Is your arm asleep? You Can it move? Up? Hey, you guys said I was too harsh yesterday, <laughs> so look at this is the, what we have to deal with now. I don't know. No. Please move your hand to that button. No, wait. I still say that maybe there's potential she's here. There she's... is no hope here. She's, <laughs> she's half retarded. No. And well, you got a big ass. I like that. How big is your ass? My ass? Why do you guys want to know how big my ass is? What? Why do you guys want to know how big my ass is? Thank you. Because we're perverts, stupid. How many girls do we have for this party? Like four so far? That's it? About 30 girls have tried. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to Susan. Susan. Hello? Hi, Hi Susan. Susan. How are you? All right, you're 20 years old, right? Yeah, Obi, we met before. I just wanted to know if I would be perfect for your party. Oh. Who are you? Um, I met you at Jim Bluer's. Jim Bluer's? Who's Jim Bluer? Jim Brewer. Oh, uh, Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. All right. <laughs> oh, no. How tall are you? Okay. <laughs> I'm 5'6". <five, six. laughs> I'm the still girl. You sound like Madeline Kahn from Blazing Saddles. <laughs> you're the what girl? <laughs> The Seagull Girl. Oh, the Seagull Girl. Yeah. We've all met you. Yes, you have. All right, how tall are you again? I'm sorry? How tall are you? Five, six. Yeah, everyone, five, is, six. everyone is already saying on the, uh, the Stinky typed it in, you, she, this girl's really hot. Where where have you seen her? She's the girl. At, uh, you've been to a couple of our things, right? Yes. 
She's the girl that called about this. Uh, she was the lifeguard. Oh, on the beach. With the seagulls. Right. We did a whole bit, and then yeah. we met her, and she's very hot. You had uh, a girlfriend with you the last time we saw you, right? Yes, I did. She wasn't a topless bartender, right? No. Okay. This girl, uh, you passed the audition. We'll see you Tuesday. <laughs> okay, I just, um, can I give a little shout-out? Uh-oh. That could that could hurt you. Oh, boy, you All are right, being balls. You are no, being ballsy. Ho, 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 ho. I don't want to hurt it. Uh, what's the shout-out? I wanted to say hi to all my friends who are listening. Big fans of the show. Okay, that's good enough. As long as there's no boyfriend, we don't go for that nonsense. Oh, no, no, no. Get Stinky in here, because he wrote on the screen, she's really hot. Garrett likes she's you. She's hot. She's really hot. <laughs> Stinky, you remember her, right? Yeah, she was at our road show at, on Long Island. Yeah, you went to Mulcahy's or one of those two, right? Um, it was actually at the Vanderbilt I oh, went to. Oh, the mm -hmm. Okay. That was the Brewer one? Oh, no, then we saw you at Brewer at... Um, Wherever, uh, whatever, yeah. like it matters. All right, we'll see you Tuesday. See you Tuesday. Uh, Garrett, how are you? See you next Tuesday. I didn't see you very much at uh, Ben's party last night. <laughs> I was kind of in the shadows. Yeah, there was, a, uh, there was a little nook, a little nook we can call it. I found it. To the back of the club. <laughs> it was uh, pitch black in there. There was a table, a little chair or something, a bench. What was back there? Uh, tables and a bench. And, and a uh, bench chair and a few chairs. Uh, Yankee Cranky area. Yeah. That was great. It looked like uh, it looked like a uh, sauna when you opened the door. <laughs> when uh, Stinky would come walking really out of there, hot. trailed by a huge cloud. <laughs> that seemed to be where that action was going on. And everyone's like, I thought the sa saunas weren't working at this place anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Uh, one more girl, yeah, and we've got to move on. Of course. Corinne. Oh, hi. How are you? Pretty good. 21 years How's old? How's everything going? Good. No, this is one of the girls from the WOW contest. Oh. I'm number 21. I wore the schoolgirl skirt. 21. Let's go. Uh, this, will make it, uh, this will make it very easy for us. You want to be part of the Crystal Method party on Tuesday? Sure. What time is it? Corinne, why are you calling? What time is it? Corinne, why are you calling? I'm, I'm just calling to say hello because I know today is the last day of the WOW contest. Uh... Well, it's the last day to qualify, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I say we throw her out of the contest for being stupid well, right now. Well, let's see what she looks like first. No, she's beautiful. I remember her. But you're just calling to say hi? Yes, I'm just calling to say hi. Oh, well, because we're trying to get girls for our Crystal Method party. Oh, I, I know. I'll, I can come. Wow. Oh, wow. Really? All right. Wow. Yeah, she's in. Holy mackerel. <laughs> hold, on, hold on the line. We'll see you Tuesday. Oh, wait, wait. I'm running around my apartment naked because it's so hot today. Oh, where do you live? <laughs> She's a dancer. I remember her whole, her whole story, right? Mm -hmm. All right, Corinne, you want to party with us Tuesday? Yes, sure. Uh, with Crystal Method? Cool. Hold on the line. Mm -hmm. And she's going to do pretty well in the WOW contest. Last day to qualify for the WOW contest. Matter, sweetie? Uh, my uh -oh. computer is broken. Marianne? Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. <laughs> my? Why are you calling back? Why am I calling back? Yeah. Because I miss you guys. Oh, my dear sweet Jesus Christ on his cross. Marianne, you realize you're going to wreck our whole radio show today? <gasps> Why is that? We're done with you. We talked to you for two minutes. You had nothing. You have a big ass. You're not uh, the, the type of girl we want at our crystal method party. So we're moving on. So why are you calling back? Um, Because I think I'm worth it. Do you have a picture you can send in? Well, you know what? I was already on your opening, Anthony, so. Well, who are you? The one that, um, with Kim Bikini Contest. What, uh, no. All those girls were awful. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. All those girls were awful. Yeah. They were awful? Yeah, as are you. Aw. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Stop calling. <laughs> Adios. All right, Anthony, ratings yeah. for Boston came in. More gooder. More gooder. More gooder. Off the hook. Thank you. Baston. Yeah, it looks like we're doing quite well in Boston, Anthony. Bastards came right through for us. And we could um, we could add Boston to the list of uh, cities we're number one in. Yes. With the famous demo that uh, matters to uh, this company. And plenty more. Men 18 of 49 went right through the roof again. Thank you. Thank you, Boston. Went way, way up. So, Boston, thank you so much. Okay. Now we're number one in New York, Philly, and Boston. It only took uh, how long to get back into Boston and... 
We've been there the almost a year now, believe it or not. I know, but I mean, it took uh, three and a half years to, to get back. Right. Christ. So, thank you, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Also, ratings for Sacramento came in. Mm -hmm. Still got some work to do, but uh, we're now up to fourth place, men 18 of 49. It was more gooder. Much more gooder. Yeah. We had a really good uh, ratings trend, uh, ratings book, we should say, in Sacramento as well. Yes. Uh, we got some work to do still, but uh, we went from, I think, 10th uh, place to fourth or something like that. Cool. Our goal is thank to you. be number one, men 18 to 49 in every city we broadcast in. Right. So far, we're doing it in New York. We've been doing it for over three years now. Philly. And now uh, uh, Boston is added to that list as well. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, what do we got Monday? Uh, Washington. Can't wait for those ratings. There you go. We'll have to wait and see. Debbie, what's up? What up? Hi, Olay. What Olay. up, sister? <laughs> what's father? Hi. Nothing much. I'm chilling. I wanted to come in for your Crystal Method concert. Yeah. For the party. How dark are you? Um, I'm kind of caramel type. Nice. Yeah. I came in before. I met Old Dirty a little while ago. Mm. How old are you? I'm 18. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's what I'm talking well, about. Well, I just... Him. I was up there when I was 17, but yeah. even nicer. And how uh, how tall are you? I'm like five seven, maybe five five seven and a half. Uh oh, don't say five eight. No, not five eight. All right, you just make it. How much you weigh? Um, probably like one forty five or six, maybe. All right, hold on. I don't get to do this often. I got to get out the black chart. Oh jeez. <laughs> well, my breast is like a 36D. My butt is kind of big, so whatever. I'm mad pretty though, so I don't even care. No, we, I got a different chart for black ladies. Oh Jesus. Your breast is. Well, I'm half white too. I'm Irish, Jamaican. Um, if you were five oh. seven hundred five seven hundred forty five, wow. and you're a white girl, you're just uh, look, and she'd be right off. She'd just be off the chart. Yeah. But look on the black chart. <laughs> Perfect. 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 That's right there. Perfect. How about, crazy. how about that? Coming to the party, it's nice. And you don't have a boyfriend or anything? Well, yeah, I do have a boyfriend. Uh oh. Why? I mean, he doesn't know about this, so so it's all right. I mean, he's not he's at work right now. He's not listening. So and, he, and he won't know about this, right? No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. She might have saved herself. What, yeah. do, what do you guys mm -hmm. think? I think so. If he doesn't know about it, because he obviously can't come up. But if he doesn't know about it, I don't care what their situation is. Married boyfriend, it's all okay with me. I'm right. Um, I never care. I think we need a little color in our party. I agree. It's very Yeah, no white. doubt. I'm sick of seeing all these white girls on calling and all that stuff. Nah, so, yo. So are we. What's up with the white bitches? Yeah, I don't know, yo. Black, Spanish girls. We need everybody here. Yeah, yeah. basically, yo. All my sisters need to represent for ONA with us. The... All right, I like Debbie. We're racially diverse. Yes. I like Debbie. I'll dump on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yo, all right, yo. I'm gonna see you guys on Tuesday, all right? I, I, one, bye, Debbie. <laughs> one, uh, one, yeah. one, one. Yeah. yeah. All right, we filled our EOE quota. We're doing good for this party. <laughs> Shouldn't have any complaints now, right? <laughs> <laughs> what, Jim? No, nah, she's fine, right? Yes. She's a nice girl. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Doc makes a good point here. That's who I'm talking about. Hey, Doc, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, guys? Pretty good. Hey, I, why did you get off the phone with a hot, naked chick running around in their apartment sounding like she wants to talk to y'all? Well, because um, we didn't think it was going to make uh, for good radio, and she'll be yeah. down here Tuesday, and she'll be just as naked for everybody, and we'll be able to, you know... Oh, well, she'll be naked for you all, but us listeners here, you know... It's... Doc, we share with you guys all the time. Video, what, pictures. What do you see you guys get to see? Don't worry about it. Oh, very good. Matter of All fact, right. matter of fact, as we go to break here, I, I should say, because who knows how long it's going to be up there. Yeah. Video and pictures from our Buffalo trip. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Steve uh, finally got around to it, and they're up on foundrymusic.com. Nice. Foundrymusic.com, if you want to see uh, pictures and video from the TNA with ONA party, I guarantee they will be... Uh, off the website within hours. And you know you what? Think? Just because we announced it, yes. Yeah. Those stripper clubs, a lot of stripper clubs, a lot of the clubs were firing girls for not representing them properly. What is wrong with you really? strip clubs? Yeah. How do you fire the girls? I don't get it. Wait, some of those girls got fired? Oh, yeah. The, the strip club, what, all of a sudden they're embarrassed? What are you, what's wrong with you guys? Jesus. Politically oh, correct oh, strip just, clubs. Uh, it was just <laughs> backpedaling. Uh, it wasn't our idea. <laughs> Zucchini girl got fired? I believe she did. I'm not sure. I can I can find out. But if she did, it's a disgrace. Hmm. 
There's one of the yeah. sexiest girls there, and they're going to fire her. That's just cool. And why is your stepfather it. calling? Did we do anything wrong? What? Oh, my God. Sal. Yeah. What's up? My niece with Lisa. She wants to be in the wow contest. <laughs> Sal. That's crazy. I don't think relatives are uh, eligible. Yes, oh, they no are. Relatives eligible. How big's her rack? Well, when you see her Saturday, you'll know why. Yeah. Yeah. She got a big rack. Oh yeah. <laughs> you digging it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take I'll take a look on uh, Saturday, as what? you say. <laughs> I'll take a look on Saturday and see uh, if we can fit her in. I'm just kidding. Of course you are. Uh, you nut. Don't forget that box you got to bring out. What box? Shirts. I don't know. What's her name? <laughs> no, I, of course I'll get you shirts for your party, Sal. Okay. All right. All right, Sal. Wait, Lisa wants to say hello. Hold on. Say hi. Hi, Anthony. Hi. How are you? Fine. Looking forward to meeting you. Do you know um, that uh, we're doing a radio show here for uh, about 20 some odd cities? Yes. I'm listening. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll see you Saturday. Sounds good, honey. All right, bye-bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Oh, sure thing, Sal. <laughs> there's, there's a I'm taking on. personal phone calls. Hey, hold on. She wants to say hello. <laughs> what? That's funny. This is going to be insanity. Saturday. They got a party going on at my mom's uh, uh, on Saturday. This is going to be uh, like a hundred people there, Ooh. and uh, they're gearing up for it, I guess, already. Mm -hmm. The party has begun. Oh, forget about it. <laughs> Any more booze flowing over there? Right. Great personal phone calls. Hey, you want to say hi to your mom? Yeah. Could you bring uh, ice? Yeah. Uh, could you bring some ice? Don't forget the box. And uh, Jesus, twenty cities. Just heard that. Can't wait for the party tomorrow. Insane. All right, let's break, okay? Roy! But Boston, thank you. The ratings were great. Yeah, kicked ass for us, man. Thanks. We greatly, greatly appreciate that as we go to the FU line. Thanks for calling, and here's the Opie and Anthony FU line. Yeah, this f*** you goes out to my idiot, soul-sucking jerk of a boss for making goddamn jokes, thinking he's a f***ing comedian about my friend shooting himself over the weekend. Yeah, it should have been you, scumbag jerk. You. Next message. He has the colossal f you to my white trash neighbor and his face like a foot wife. You don't like the fact we called social services on you? Well, f you. You want to swear in front of your kids? Fine. You want to lock your kids out in the yard? Fine. You swear in, one of, in front of my kids? No f***ing way. And you, you f***ing harpy, you cry to your mother all day on the phone? Well, we hear everything you say. Yeah, is your sister still f***ing half the school? One of you people crawl back to whatever f***ing housing project or trailer park you f***ing crawled out from under and die. Next message. Yeah, this one goes out to my ex-wife. She fought and fought and fought for custody of my son for years and years. And when I finally won, you know what this effing bitch does? She doesn't want to see the f***ing kid anymore. She gives them to me and signs mother f***ing papers saying that she'll give them to me if I don't sue her for f***ing child support. F***ing You f***ing You mother f***ing End of messages. Mm, let me lick that off. Coming soon to the OVA Anthony Show. Sex for Sam. Three, three, three. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. A lot of people not happy that we just invited Corinne to the party, Anthony, on Tuesday with Crystal Method. Uh-oh. As more ladies call up to try to get invited to the party. Joe, what's going on? Hey, guys. What's hey, up, Joe. Man? Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, not to be a dick and bring the show down or anything, but uh, didn't I hear you say the other day you didn't want to have any uh, strippers and dancer types on there? I thought it were, you were looking for uh, your pure and natural types. Joe, I got to tell you something. I'm smart. She's not a stripper. Why? Uh, she's, a, she's a real dancer. I said no uh, strippers. Oh, she's a... Uh, like and I a, said you're a dancer. Oh, a dance dancer. dancer. Okay. Yeah. I remember the rules. I misunderstood okay. that, too, though. To no, she's... Yeah. Too. She could call back and, and confirm, but she's a real dancer. All right. We just want to make sure everything's uh, on the same page here. Of course it is. Okay. Everything's hunky-dory. I'm starting to think we shouldn't have let that black girl in, but... Why? What? I don't know. That booty might have been a little too big. <laughs> Her right. booty. 
See, in my fantasy, things aren't perfect. It doesn't little... matter about what you want, Jim. Well, there's maybe once in a while we could all have like a little <laughs> girl come in that we want to see. Dude, if we let you pick these girls, you're right. Dude, I, you're right. I would believe me. Everyone would be allowed. It would look like that bar scene from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> that hack joke. That's all right. We're all having fun. Hey, Lisa, what's going on? Hello, Lisa. This is me? Yeah. Yeah. No crap. Okay. Hey, hey, Jim, it's Lisa. You know Lisa? <laughs> She's Hi, Lisa. All know Jim. I'm not sure. Oh. They all Do you know who Jim. I'm talking about? No, tell me, Lisa. You know, Lisa from Philadelphia? Lisa That's from like obsessed with meeting you. Ringing any bells? Would you like uh, Jim to bring a box over for you this Saturday? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. No, now I'm like, I'm. I'm torn. I just talked to you the other day. Why you? Yeah, don't. I know who you are. I just don't want to say your screen name. No, you here. don't. Yeah, I do. I He's shaking his head side to side. And no, I'm absolutely not shaking my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, you! I can't say. I, I, I'll put it this way: There's a there. I'll, I I don't want to say your whole name. There is a decimal point in between the two names in your screen name. Okay. I know who you. Are. I told uh, you that. Lisa, why are you calling? I'm calling. You realize because... we have a radio show to do, right? Oh, I know. All right. I so know. why are you calling? I know. Well, I, well, I got the impression, because I tuned in a little late, that you were looking for young-looking girls to come to this thing. Yes. Well, that's me. That's me. Like, I think maybe I could do that. Like, I might be, like, I might fit your criteria to actually be invited to this party. Too, way too oh, cocky. God. Way too cocky. Me. That's me. That's me. I might fit the criteria. That's me. That's me. Sorry, Lisa, I had no control over that. <laughs> Keeping all your... Even all your options open, no, Jimmy. No, no, no. We've, we've never slept together. I mean that. No, it's not me. You're welcome, Jimmy. Wow, the girl's not having much luck today. Cindy, what's up? Hope is tough. Hey, what's up? What's Cindy, going? get us out of this rut of uh, girls that suck. Yeah, because we got to move on to the hooker thing, finally. Ooh. The hooker thing. Oh, then you're wasting time with me, then. No, Angel. got to be more exciting. Cindy. Yeah. All right, uh, you're 20 years old, right? Uh-huh. How tall are you? I'm five feet. Five feet. She just okay, she fits. Made she made it. You said five feet, Opie. Yeah. Don't look at the she button. She just makes it. Just makes it. No. 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 And, and she wear no. heels and shoes no. and stuff. No. Dude, yeah. you said five feet. I'll tell you something, though. What? Cindy, admit it. You're not five foot. No, I'm no five girl, feet. The only girls that say they're five feet are the ones that are four ten and a half to four eleven. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> no. I will, hold on a minute. Who wants to bet me a hundred bucks right now? What does your license say? Five feet. Who wants to bet me a hundred bucks right now? I'll bet you. Hundred? Hundred? Yeah, I'll bet you. This girl will come down. Well, where are you right now? Uh, I'm about 40 minutes away from the city. Are uh, you guys in New York today? Yeah. Yes. I uh, am, yeah, but uh, 40 minutes from the city. Can you come in? I can't. I can't. I'm going to a Eminem concert later on. No, I, I mean, yes. there are people out there that will confirm this. Girls that say they're five foot tall. My sister does this. She's not five foot tall. Uh, if, I'm not. I'm five, five feet. That's what I'm If you feet. were five foot, you would have said I'm five one five. Two. I'll bet you. I'll bet you a hundred. Yeah, maybe she's five feet and she's, she's saying not. she's five feet. She's, oh, she's not. I will bet. I got a hundred and a hundred. Right? I'll give you if yeah. I if I come down there and I'm not five feet. I'll give you a hundred dollars. You That's cannot okay. condemn oh, her because in. of the lies <laughs> of others. You can't condemn this girl. She may be telling the truth. And you can't assume that she's lying because of the, the treachery of others. All right, so let's continue. All right, here's the deal. Uh, yeah, officially she's, uh, she's you know. She's, I will believe she's, her. She passes the height requirement. That's okay. But I'm telling you, when Tuesday comes, we're going to bet, and I guarantee this girl is under five foot tall. I'm in. I, I guarantee like it. I'm in. No girl ever says they're just five foot. No. I'm five feet, I swear. All right, and how, how tall, uh, how much you weigh? I'm sorry, 110. One what, 110? Uh-huh. Okay, what else we want to ask her, Aunt? Uh, 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 breast size, size right? yes. 36D. 36 what? 36D. Oh, B, I thought you said D. I was ready to get a wedding ring. D. Did she say D? B. Yeah. D as in Dan? B as, as in, in B? Dan. It's D. She's saying D, you Clear the wax idiot. out of your ear. Oh. All right, D. E's? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of wow. a lot of flack about that. <laughs> what kind of um, uh, butt do you have? F. I really can't brag about my butt. Oh, no. It's average. Average. Oh, oh, Jesus. No, she's telling oh, you that her ass Now, what do you mean by average? It's not, it's not huge. What's the problem with it? Nothing. It's, it's not, not that big, not that small. Is it dingleberries on it? Do you got the Asian... No. <laughs> you got no. the Asian flatness going on? No, no. It doesn't does, really it, does it look like you sat in a gravel driveway with no pants on? God, no. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> right. You have a boyfriend? No, hell no. Uh, what will you be wearing Tuesday? 
I guess I have to go out and find something little, something to sleep in. All right. That's something to sleep cool. in. Very good. Uh, Very good. What kind of hair do you have? I have uh, long black hair. How long? Oh, no. Uh, down to the middle of my back. Middle of the back, Opie. Mm -hmm. I'll ask the question. Does it touch your tailbone? Does it what? Does your hair touch your tailbone? Uh, no. All right. No. Your dog eyes, doesn't smell, eyes. does it? What color hair? Eyes. What color hair do you have? I have a uh, black hair. Black hair. What color eyes? Brown eyes. Oof, brown eyes. That's all right. What, what's wrong with you? Jesus? <laughs> Are you meaty down there? Damn that dominant. <laughs> meaty down there. Oh, thank you, Steve. Steve is reminding me I'm forgetting one key question. <laughs> My God, and we let a couple girls through. What? What if that black girl is having the that <gasps> time of the month? Oh. No, no. Actually, that was last week, so I'm in the clear. You're in the clear? Oh, right. Yeah, I'm in the clear. How no big are you, and how big are your feet? My feet? Six. I have little feet. All right. Cool. That's good. I don't like them big-footed girls. Look like a, <laughs> look like a hobbit. No what, mad magic. <laughs> what do you do for uh, fun? What do I do for fun? Yeah. Um, I have a motorcycle. Mm. You like yeah, girls? Yeah, I like. What's that? You like girls? I wouldn't admit that to anybody. Well, oh, wait a minute. What kind of bike? <laughs> I have a ZX6. Oh, okay. It's not a Harley? No, no, it's a. That's good though, and a lot of people are gonna. No, a lot of people are gonna get pissed at me. I do not like Harley chicks. Neither do I. Jack bike chicks are fine. Harley chicks, oh god, they got the flapjacks. <laughs> the one earring, like. Property of chainsaw tattooed on their back. I like the <laughs> Harley chicks. You know what's gonna happen? The way it's hard to get girls. Dude, everyone is calling by the way and saying that I'm so right about the five foot theory. Um, I'm saying Cindy's in. This girl, I, I will bet you're four eleven and uh, like a quarter. And if that happens on Tuesday, we're sending you home. I'll I'll bring a hundred dollars. We need anything, one of those medical scale height things. Yes, we do. <laughs> so you could uh, you know flip that little metal thing up, rest it on her head. And we need something very very accurate. Dude, if the license says five feet, that's accurate. Because that has to be an accurate description. No, it no, doesn't. You no, just, they no, don't no, measure you. No. You just write it down. You just write it down. You just jot it down. On my down. license, it says I'm like 6'3", I think. <laughs> you're not, though. Because <laughs> I've always wanted to be taller. <laughs> All right. I get, Cindy, you're in as long as you pass the height thing uh, on Tuesday. All right. Um, all right. <laughs> Great. Be prepared, though. We're not kidding. If you're under five foot, we will show you the door. <laughs> right. You got it. All right. Hold on. I got confidence. Hold right. on. We got it. We're going to have two info. chicks at this party. Huh? Well, chicks don't show up. They will be two perfect no. girls. That's right. <laughs> Debbie. Chicks don't show up. Yo, what's Debbie again? The black girl that called before? Yeah. Oh, Yo, I don't think that Cindy should be allowed to come because regardless if she's short or not, she says she has a 36D. I'm 5'7 with a 36D. She must be like a football player or something. Debbie, it's good that you called back. Debbie, what uh, what uh, time of the month do you have your cycle? Um, in the beginning, like the first week, why? Uh, what? Uh, week. Are you over it right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it ain't coming back anytime soon? Not until August. Because that's all stanky. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We don't want no girls riding a cotton pony at our party. We don't, nah, want, I'm we not... don't want no nappy messes. We don't want no... No, it's not no. nappy down there. Be easy, you little blonde head. We don't want it. <laughs> Neo-Nazi German. <laughs> we don't want on you to look like a Brillo pad after you scrub nah, some yo, ketchup my, out of a my, pan. Mine's smoother than a wood floor, so I don't Ooh, even know what is. to tell you oh, about. Oh, now yeah. you're talking. Looks like some fine polished ebony furniture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I, I'm glad Debbie called back. Yeah. No, but I'm serious about that. I'm feeling that. good about Debbie. Debbie, yeah. uh, we can't wait to see you Tuesday for the party. All right. All right? Yeah. All right. Yo. Bye, Debbie. Yo, bye. Uh, wait, Norton? No, oh, stop it, Debbie. <laughs> what Debbie? She's what like a spunk. Amateurish attempt. You know though. what, though? Oh, uh, Norton? She gave it a shot. Any girl with a wood floor is fine. Lisa, what's going on? Hey, guys, I'm sorry to bother you again. Yes. I'll never call this show. But, like... I'm not a cocky person. I didn't mean that to sound cocky in any way, shape, or form. I probably have, like, yeah. I'm, I I think I was misunderstood by you guys totally. Uh, real oh, real right. quick. You know what? I could work with her. Yeah. She understood she was Call at back. fault. Very good. All right. Uh, Lisa? I, I might have got off on the wrong foot. It happens. How tall a gal are you? I am 5'1". Five 5'1". One. Five one. So are you saying that she's 5 foot, Opie? Yeah. Do you usually no, I'm like by making her four eleven? Did you just hear the last caller and now you're saying you're five one or are you? Oh, yeah. No, I swear to God, I'm like between five one and five two. Uh, like I, I, I haven't I really got measured it. in a I while. Like that. Okay. Perfectly acceptable. And how much you, you weigh? I have ninety three pounds. Wow. Ninety three pounds? 
Yeah. Ugh. 94. That's too small. Well, is how... it really? I'm sorry. Well, I figured. How big is the uh, the uh, bra size? Did you want it to be big? No. No. Just, you, you, you gotta have, be, <laughs> yeah, you gotta be honest because we, we're uh, writing all this stuff down, and if uh, it doesn't uh, match when you come in, we throw you out what of do the you studio. Have? What do you have? Oh, okay. I, it's uh, like a 34A. The little A's. I'm look, too wow. I'm too little. You look uh, like a 14 year old girl. Welcome 14. to the party. I look like a. Yeah, I look around 16. Mm. What's with the scowl, Hope? It's okay. Oh, a, I was just I like I think you guys. It's good. She can be like the little sister that's oh, hanging out with the big oh, girls. Not, Stop. We <laughs> have a we have a a, a type of girl that we're, right. we're going for. Stop. 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 She's made Stop. it. Stop. No. The height's right. She's not overweight. Um, I think girls under 100 pounds. That's a little. That's what's what's your hair? Why? How long's your hair? <laughs> How long's your hair? How long's your hair? Oh, I don't make it anymore. Well, how long I is had it? really, really long hair, and I cut it a week ago. Well, how so long like, is it? It's like to um, a little above my shoulders. All right, that's okay. Nice. Yeah. What color is it? It's like a right now. It's like a I have reddish highlights in it, but they're like it's brown with like golden tints or something. Yeah, you're awful. No, she's not. I've seen, I've seen a picture of it. She's put it. You did where? Oh, she's pretty. She sent you a picture? <laughs> yeah, it's a face. I never saw her naked or anything, but her face is very pretty. Do you, uh, do you have a boyfriend? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't like relationships. Uh, suck. I don't want to think about it. Oh, I'm, I'm, that's a different part of my life that I'm trying oh, to... Oh, jeez, like, I don't even really hear this stuff. Oh, just don't hang up on me. That's all oh, I ask. I don't have to come to your party. I was just like... And I And when will you be having your time of the month? I'm sorry? When will you be having your time of the month? Oh, I had a. When? That's gone. When? Um, actually, I ended it two weeks ago, so mm -hmm. I'm I'm pretty good. Hey. I'm good to go on that aspect. Hey, Chris, what's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, I went to high school with uh, Lisa. Yeah. What a fat mess! Oh my oh, God! God. You should not let her in the contest. Oh, no, 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 unless you have the biggest bun contest. Man, she's no like party. Lisa, she's ninety-three pounds. Dude, you you're idiot. thinking of someone else. She's really not fat. She can photo her. Uh, she's not bad. Mm. I'm going to give Anthony this one. Oh, you guys want... That's okay. I don't have to come. Yeah, I just wanted... You know, I didn't want to be I'm sure you're a lovely girl. that I was cocky. I'm sure you're a lovely girl, but you're not really fitting the criteria. You know what? I probably wouldn't... And you want to know something, to be honest with you? I'm just all about, like, eventually, like, hanging with Jim, maybe meeting you guys. But, like, I don't even know who Crystal Method is, if that's who's playing. I don't even know the band. Oh, I don't know anything. Uh, I just wanted to hang... Oh, <laughs> I'll hang with you. I like this. She She's a nice girl. On again. <laughs> she had all the wrong answers. Yeah, I was... All, uh, all the wrong At answers. first, I was like, well, it might be interesting to have her um, in on the party. But uh, after a while, no. She was annoying me over the phone. I liked her. Oh, stop it. I'm telling you, I'm very tolerant. You have some kind of a sick internet uh, thing no, with all these I've girls. No, I've never seen her naked. I've never met... She's just a nice girl I've talked to. Her. Yeah. I'm very lenient with women. People think I'm mean. I'm very nice. <sighs> I'm a sweetie. Joe, birthday. what's going on? Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Joe, what's up? Yeah, I get to pick a girl or two because it is old Jimmy Norton's birthday. Uh, Answer, right. Joe, you schmuck. Happy birthday, uh, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Joe. Joe. All right, you're gone. Oh, he's, Joe, he's a lodger. Nick, what's he's going on? A room. Yo, Opie and Anthony and Norton, how you doing, guys? All right. How you doing, You're fella? driving me crazy, Opie. Why? You're, is you're, cute. It's like you're trying to put together a poison or a journey video from the 80s. <laughs> this is crazy. Bring in some hot little girls, too. What's the problem? I agree. We have. We yeah, have. I know. You want a journey video because you miss journey. All right, relax. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wait to go to their reunion concert. I don't think we're getting that outrageous. I'm sure a lot, uh, a lot of these girls are quite lovely, but no, you know. Martin and Anthony aren't getting outrageous, but you are. No, I think Anthony's more with me today than he was yesterday. I was with you on that last one toward the end. At the beginning, though, I was kind of like, well, it might be... Uh, we just want some cool. fun, good-looking girls. That's well, as, long as, as long as it don't end up like the Stepford bimbos. Uh, it's kind of like one of our... It's like a fantasy party. Okay, well, I'm with you guys. All right. Take care. Bye. Yeah, but our, you know, our tastes are very different. Yep. So you got to take that into consideration. And you can't. You know, they have to fit the criteria, but there are some things that maybe little details. What don't you like about the criteria? No, I'm I'm fine with the criteria. Over I'm just five saying. foot isn't asking for much, right? No. Hair shorter than the the crack of their butt—that's not asking for too much, right? 
No, no. So no. what's the problem? Uh, no problem. What about the time of the month thing? I agree with that one. The height one, I'm not really with, and the hair one, but because people can be sexy, time of the month, I agree with. Boyfriend, no, I agree with. No offense, Jim, but you have no voice in this. I know, I'm just... Because I, cause I see what you find attractive. I find some very beautiful <laughs> girls attractive. Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that, ugh, it's a mess. It's right in. <laughs> I'm not that far off. No, I could go within the guidelines, but... There are some girls that are technically fitting within the guidelines that you uh, would throw out that I might not. So those we have to conference on. Like who? Well, like I said, the last one was good up until the end of her call. Right, and then we both agreed. And then it was like, yeah. But at the beginning of it, you know, it was like, all right, she might be uh, nice to have around. That's why we're. I was hanging in there. Yeah. I would have just got to put her back on the air after the first time she called. I don't like this implication that I'll bang anything. <laughs> what the... You're turning, over, you're turning over a new leaf for your yeah. birthday or something? Happy birthday Why don't you to inform us? me. <laughs> from the guy that got a Hummer from a man. Dude. I'll bang anything. No, it wasn't intentional. You know what? Right. You didn't know. You guys, I'm telling you, Lawrence is... Uh, Lawrence. Yeah. Go ahead, say it. I'm just, I'm just saying, she, she looks anorexic. If she's five feet... I'm uh, six feet now, so I'm measuring myself like a foot away from me. And she wears, what, what did she say her birth size was? Uh, hey, 34A. 34A, 5'1", 93 pounds. So she's flat chested. You could probably see her ribs. I mean, she's 93 pounds. <laughs> ribs? <laughs> How much for a rib? <laughs> well, here, there's $1. $1. So, uh, are you in agreement that there should be a 100-pound um, uh, weight limit? Yeah, that's, that's got to be the minimum. 100-pound weight limit mm. and have to be over 5 foot tall. That's not asking for much. Yeah. 100-pound weight limit. A girl, I mean, okay. A girl so, comes in so five that two, 105, that's still a small girl. If somebody's 5 feet, are you going to let them in if they're like 80 pounds? No. So, you got to put a limit on it. you got to put it at least at 100. He just did. This is supposed to be our special party, and it's falling apart because these guys are wavering on it's me. It's falling apart because we don't have girls for it. Yeah, I don't have any say. Get, get stinky in here. How many girls have signed up? How many girls have made it through our tough... <laughs> but, dude, 30% of them show up. Most of them don't show up. You know that. I know. That's stinky. what I'm saying. You're too no, look. How many girls have How got? many? Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten. Girls. Three will show up. Out of look how many though. Out oh of my like god. thirty. <laughs> oh my god. Three will show up. Well, we, we're we're hoping. Get a lot of numbers. Uh... They'll keep that paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Gary, what's up? This this. Hello, is... Gary. Gary. Maybe line three is busted. Gary. Maybe it's broke. He says, "Ope is out of control. Someone has to take over." Fine, and you take over. No, I don't want to take over. Like I said, I'm fine with the uh, whole thing. I'll take over. No. Oh. Know what you're all about. You're in. You're in. You're I in. like you're a in. big, you're fat, you're sloppy in. ass. No, I don't like sloppy. You're right, but I do stink, though. I will pick like 80% of them I'd take. You're in. You're in. You're I in. I have AIDS and, and, and breast missing. Ah, come on down. Come on. Does your mouth work? She's needy. <laughs> All right, Anthony, when we get back, we're going to talk about the hooker thing. And uh, Pablo Francisco's coming in today. He's here. Pablo. He's here? What, why are you laughing? Because I'm watching him do something. What is he doing? <laughs> hmm. Uh, he's doing his own Arnold Lines for Terminator 2 game. Oh, is he? <laughs> Out there for the, he doing the pinball oh, machine. Oh, he's playing the pinball machine and doing the own... He's going, I... Ah, 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 ah. He's the one that gave us that clip. All right, we'll get him in here. We'll do both next. We'll talk to Pablo Francisco, and we'll talk about how uh, Details has this article about how it's okay to pay for sex, Anthony. And like I said, one of the uh, I read a quick paragraph, and it makes complete sense. All right, we'll get into that in just a bit. I keep saying it the Opie and Anthony FU line is there for you when life sucks. Sucks to be me. Call anytime. 212-830-3785. The Opie and Anthony Show. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Lots going on today. We're going to get Pablo Francisco in here in a minute or two. Very funny guy. Playing Rascals at West Orange. But Brian wants in real fast. Brian, what's going on, man? Yeah, I wanted to say uh, yesterday you were being really harsh on picking the girls. Yeah. But then I remembered 
these monsters that showed up for the Money Snatch game. All those girls said they were hot. That's oh, right. God, the Money Snatch. Now Anthony's totally with me. Ugh, what a bunch Please of slobs. We thought we were screening those girls nicely, and it was uh, it was uh, it was a train wreck in a here. Mess. Disgusting. Can so, I give a shootout? Uh, now I'm not looking too bad, huh? Look great. You're looking good. All right, go ahead, Brian. A uh, shootout. All right, hold on. Bang, 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 bang. That's not a shootout. <laughs> he was doing the bang, bang game, which is hysterical. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. All right, let's uh, let's say hi to Pablo Francisco, huh? Pablo. Pablo. Where is Pablo? He was playing the uh, Terminator 2 pinball game, doing Arnold voices to it. I get in the chopper. I love that game, but we got to get a new one in here. I want the Adams Family game. That was, that was a good one, man. That was a really good pinball game. Wait, what do you look like? There you are. <laughs> What's up, Pablo? I want to know what you look like. <laughs> I'm looking at you. You it's like awesome. the pinball game? Pinball machine's better. It's awesome. It's pretty that good. One. You smashed that Mick Jagger one up. Oh, you were here for that. That went down to meet you. Out of order. <laughs> Out of order. <laughs> yes, you are. Hello, I'm Celine Dion. I, you were talking about me, you know, about the catch your meat down there. You know, someone told me it was tamales. But it's okay. You know, my head is so big. If you are having sex with me from behind, I look like you're having sex with a football team mascot. Because I'm such a big head. <laughs> yeah. You're the Mr. Medhead. <laughs> <laughs> on, the next, on the next Babylon 9. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, so, and everything changes your life. Everything changes. You know, it changed my life, you know. I saw the children in the audience, they were waving to me. It's my life. It's incredible. How can something, some stinky, come from something so beautiful? It's that, that noise is very spooky. There's a song I wrote about it. That's right. A duet with Aaron Neville. I sound like a radio station. A traffic up Man, what's up? What's up? Thanks for having me back on the show, man. Everywhere I go, Cleveland, I called you guys. You guys hooked me up in there. Oh, yeah. Sold out that show. And then San Fran. You guys in San Fran. Yeah. And you're special on, uh, was it Comedy Central? Comedy Central. That's they've been running a, a million. They're a million. They air it. Uh, it's great, though. I mean, it's beautiful. That's Thank a you. really good one. Once you get a show on Comedy Central, a special, right. you, you will be on there for... 50 years. Oh, yeah, just keep flowing and, and back and forth. They keep playing it, and now they've come up with a new way to package these things. Right. They take some of the best segments from people's oh, really? stand up and throw them all together. It's so you'll thing. see like one bit from one comic, right. and then another bit from another comic, and it go on. And it's the same things you've seen a over thousand times on Comedy Central. It's the comedy compilation. Yeah. That's right. It's all put together. And you know, it's going to be a good thing. You know, it's the... <laughs> You'll always be alive on Comedy Central. Always be alive. You'll never die. Always telling the same joke. Hey, I got short hair. Yeah, I look like a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> you see me on Leno? Over. You didn't see Leno? No. Was Leno was like no. A I barely. What were you on Leno? Watch Watch there, June fourth. And you know what? And he's, his chin is so big. It needs, yeah. a, it needs a tight clip. That's how big it is. <laughs> Don't do business with BET because you know the way they treat the people. Did you Did you do well? I did well. I well. Yeah. And then he asked me questions, but he doesn't look at you. So what's going on? Like he's looking at someone else. You're me. Yeah. And I'm looking. So uh, and he's, where you from? And he looks past you, right? Yeah, he'll spend it's all yeah, it's good. How's that all about? That's all a lot. And his little kid was in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> What are those audiences like to play to? Oh, man, they're all looking at the like, TV monitor, and you're yeah. And I was, sh I was shaking my body trying to get their attention. Oh, very good, Paco. Crank, crank, low on the show tonight. And, uh, I've and heard that's just, like, brutal, though, because uh, I, I've known a few comics that have done those shows, and the audience isn't really there to see a comic. It's, yeah, it's, you it's know? like, yeah, they were all there. They were, they had star that was on the show with Ashley Judd, but they're like this, uh, this, uh, you ever, you ever watch Attack of the Clones with uh, Star Wars Episode 2? They make the audience. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't me. seem... They go there just, oh, we're going on Leno. I hope there's a good guest tonight. Oh, yeah. Was... You know, it's not like they're going to, people going to a comedy club where they're going to a club or right. something. And, and you wind up, some. sometimes you get a bad audience. Oh, yeah. They, you know just... what? they left at everything. Hey, what's going on? It's good to be... All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, for... <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. They were laughing at all Jay's little monologues. So the other day, I went to the store and I bought a Snickers. 
I hate his monologues. I just like going back and forth from Letterman to uh, Leno and watch him do the same. Oh, the same topics. Topics. A little different little take on each one, uh, but yeah. the same exact topic, the news same, same of the time. day, yeah, at the same, same time. time. You'll be... <laughs> you know what happened when that girl was found in the woods today. Oh, Osama Bin Laden. Osama Bin Laden. Yeah, yeah, Osama Bin Laden. I can't do Letterman, but, but, you know, you know. What's up, man? Thanks for having on the show. What's going on, man? What's your... Wait, I remember your last time. Jimmy Norton. Jimmy Norton. Who's the guy with the cigar? Remember the last guy with the cigar? Who was here with the cigar? Who's a big old guy? Let me tell you something. I'm going to smack somebody around. Who was here? Remember, he watched you pin, uh, smash the pinball machine. Oh, that's uh, Ronnie. Ronnie. Oh, Ron. 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 Ron and Fez. Yeah, from yeah. Ron and Fez show. It's uh, yeah. Jim Norton's birthday today. Oh, is it? How old are you? 34. He's been uh, wishing 34? himself a happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> me. Happy birthday to you. 34 isn't really like uh, one of those big birthdays. It's just one of those, eh, it's there. It's not like the 30. 35 is one. 40, birthday. things like that. 34 is a dull, boring birthday we shouldn't even pay attention Great to. Great day to blow your brains all over the wall. No, oh, that's all right. Save that for 40. Let's eat. <laughs> Peter, what's up? Oh, hey, what's up? I just want to know if Frank Caliendo can do the uh, Pacino impression. I really love when he does that. Oh, yeah. So he, so he thinks I'm Frank Caliendo. <laughs> Frank Caliendo does, does, it was, uh... Who is that? It's Pablo Francisco. Hello. Every morning I wake up and I eat some chorizo con huevos. <laughs> Puya. See, the thing is, Frank was doing the movie guy, so I called him and said, stop doing it. I did it first, and then now, you know, now, so everyone thinks I'm Frank Caliendo. So call me Pablo Caliendo. Are you ready this summer for Pablo Caliendo? <laughs> Every when Scarface. Okay, you want to say? We're going to try it again. But right now it's time for another. Okay, every morning I eat chorizo and that's it. Okay, it's Latin Al Pacino. Puma. That's it. <laughs> we want Dennis Hopper? Come on, man. Somewhere there's a guy out there, huh? Going out there talking about eating Cuban food like chorizo, huh? Yeah, I ain't bad. Pablo, I'm yeah. Pablo Caliendo. <laughs> Pablo Francis. Pablo Caliendo. But he's coming next week. He's a funny guy. He's at Rascals, too. We're going to be at Rascals. He's going to be there, too, with you? Yeah, no, no. He's going to be, like, in the next week. Yeah, because he's a good friend of ours, too. So rock and roll. All right. Uh, we got to get into this hooker thing. You're, gonna, you're hanging, of course. Let's get into the hookers. we got a lot of things going on here. Uh, the hooker thing? Well, there's a, a really good article in details we're going to start right now. Also, we're inviting girls to our party with Crystal Method on Tuesday. Crystal Method? Okay. And uh, we're looking for really hot girls to party with us on Tuesday. We're going to party. But they have to uh, call us up, and we ask them a lot of questions to see if it's they're very ready. strict guidelines for these girls to get in. Some people think too strict. Really? For them to get in because... Uh, but we just remembered about uh, what happened with the Money Snatch contest. The so. Money Snatch, uh, like almost all the girls, all but I think one... And they all said they were, were hot. slobs. They're listening. One was, well, one was pretty hot. Right. There was a couple of hot I won't ones. say who it is. Which one was the hot one? Okay. I'm not going to say. Hot ladies. She hot. knows who she is. Hot ladies. She knows who she is. One hot the one. other ones were, were... Oh, God. I got blown off because the intern C blocked me. C blocked oh. you? Yeah, she's like, that's my friend. Don't go out with my friend. Oh, the one, oh. the intern you never oh. liked. It's not I'm like good. To push her into an open elevator shaft. <laughs> I was so aggravated that she C blocked me. You were trying to pick C. up one of the girls from the money. Which staff? one? The 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 <laughs> she was very pretty. She Which one? Good looking. Which I'm not one was say, pretty? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say They're all lovely ladies, but I don't mean lovely. I think I know way. which one you mean. She was a cute girl. There was one <laughs> that was was cute. I was looking out of the whole one time. girl. The other ones, and some of them even went past just being a mess. And they were like like subhuman. She blew me subhuman. That big, remember the fat, ugh, annoying one? So, so the one that human. cheated? Yeah. We have a money snatch game, and this bitch cheated. <laughs> I don't know how you could cheat. <laughs> how do you cheat? So yeah, exactly. exactly. The rules were real simple. <laughs> They're simple. You so grab human. as much money as you can right. in the allotted time, but you have to hold it. In a place that ain't your hands, it ain't your mouth, it ain't Catchers your nose, your ears. Your, yeah, you got to hold it right in the front. I can do it if you put me in there. Celine Dion can do it. <laughs> She's You're good. She probably about it. Walk away with a Brinks truck in there. <laughs> this girl, this girl was Sub holding her legs together, subhuman, <laughs> and using uh, knees and thigh. And the other girls go like, "Hey, what's the deal? This chick's cheating." We took the pain, and you know. Used uh, the uh, receptacle the way we're supposed to, and this girl's cheating. Subhuman. And then she started crying. <laughs> I wasn't cheating. I, oh, 
You're a uh, mess. You're nude. You're disgusting, and you have money falling out of you. <laughs> They're paying for it. Hey, you, you got, spend it. <laughs> you got some change. And then she cried because she had enough money to buy her what daughter a birthday gift. She goes, oh, because then we had to make some kind of a concession right. to her, which I, I didn't want to do that she could keep. Uh, the money that she did have, because I don't know, because she was ruled the winner by. We jumped the gun there, and she starts crying, going, Now I can pay for my daughter's birthday party. Do her a better favor. Hit her over the head with a shovel and kill her. So she doesn't have to grow up with you as a mother. God, you're being harsh. She now I'm totally just... into the uh, she conditions Somebody, we're putting on. She wasn't that terrible. bad. Was awful. She? she was awful. Horrid. She was so fat you want her kid killed? So <laughs> an awful man. She was subhuman. <laughs> That's a little Definitely harsh, Definitely eh? subhuman. Hey, Diane, what's up? What's going on? Uh, you're 20 years old? Yeah. Okay. It's have you been me. in bars already? What? Have you been in bars already? Or? Yeah, I have. Not legally, but... Okay. I have. Where are you from? Worcester. Worcester. Yeah. Yeah, the big city of Worcester. <laughs> Worcester. Are you uh, going to college there? No, I don't start till January. I'm actually going to college in Boston. So you're a local oh. Worcester girl? Yep. Oh, boy. Well, you know something? Oh, we did a lot of signings out in Worcester, and occasionally a hot-looking girl came by. <laughs> right. Yeah. Good stuff. I remember that. Good stuff. <laughs> and you want to come down for the party Tuesday? I do. All right, are you ready? I am ready. This how, is how it goes, Pablo. Okay. How tall a gal are you, Diane? I am 5'5". Five five. You're 5'5", five five, yep. Diane. How much do you weigh? I weigh 150. Mm, someone's playing a deadly game. You're having a stroke on the left side? Donuts. Hey, do you like donuts and curry? No. Uh, I'm a little chunky, but I'm not, like, gross. A little chunky? A little bit. I'm sick. I wouldn't even... You're built like a square. Do you look you like... About? You like a like a light, like a light bulb? No. Like skin, you know, thin body, but do you have a big ass? Um, not really. No, a little bit. All right, how big? I have a the, nice ass. How big are the breasts? Do black guys like to go out with you? Thirty-six C. C's. Not even the double D's where you can say that's where the weight's going. She's, <laughs> she's only 20. She's already 150 pounds. Who's your boyfriend? Is he, is he white or black? I don't have a boyfriend. Exactly. Of course not. You know, how fast girls your age start putting on weight. No. By Tuesday, you're going to be 270. No, I would not. No? I think we need to send you down the road of rejection. Oh. Oh, and man. Oh, that there was... There she goes. <laughs> I can't believe you waited that it's long. It's my birthday. Axed. <laughs> Gone. That's how it works, though. Yeah, you should've... dropped her like a hot crack pipe. Now, a lot of people get mad when we do that, but you know what? I, I'm sure she's a lovely girl, but we're looking for a special girl for the, this party, right? Someone right. 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 This party has to resemble... Baywatch? Well, no, because we're not going that angle. It's more of a, a sleepover pajama party type thing. Right. But the Crystal Method's going to be playing. It's going to be a party Method. atmosphere. Uh, we want these girls, though, to have a certain look like girls at a slumber party. And you and I don't want to look bad. Right. You know? We're yeah, showing Crystal off for Method's coming. Crystal Method. we, can't, uh, we can't be having uh, girls in there that they're like, oh, boy, why do we even do this? Why are we spending uh, for these guys? Uh, and they they have slobs. We're gonna have lasers and lights and all sorts of lasers stuff. And lasers, laser beams, and machines and drum machines. It's gonna be good. That's these right. are gonna lasers. Be good. Is it gonna look like the slumber party in Greece? Remember that? Yeah, that's what that's I'm kind of looking, looking for? for, but only without uh, old girls. Energy. Okay. Only without what the hell was her name? Senator. Rizzo. Rizzo. Yeah, it was nice watching a. 45-year-old woman trying to play a high school girl. That was really... I don't know what she was. She looked at it, She was smoking cigarettes, remember? And it, it kind of make it... Brush up, brush up, brush up. It's in the white pen. Come on, you just can't walk out of a drive-in movie. Sandy. Come on, Sandy. Come on, drive out. Come on, you. Stranded at the drive-in. Branded a food. I didn't know, Sandy. I caught it kind of right in the nuts. Oh, kid. Cool. Come on. Little, little hot dogs and wieners on the, on the yeah. big old big screen. Jump it into a bun. I don't understand, you know. And Travolta said, hey, Sandy, how come there's only one? Oh, Let me tell you why one. I'm a lovering. Have me a blast. Okay. <laughs> You're seeing Indian people do karaoke and they do that? They sing greens. Come on, this car is automatic. It's systematic. Why grease <laughs> You've got Joe Rover. I say it's not so. Danny Zuko going out with a chick with one breast? <laughs> <laughs> cool dropout.
I can. And you must pet the nine second delay. Or <laughs> four. Four to second. We're back. All right, you want another girl to try out here? Eh? <laughs> Meg drop oh. <laughs> oh, subhuman girl oh, why don't you buy a mirror and hold it up <laughs> oh, man. Tuesday I would yes all right you got a boyfriend no all right uh when was your time of the month um probably like New Yorkers synced up. synced up in this city. Every girl uh, had, had, had their time two weeks ago, yeah. it seems. Okay. How tall Same a gal stuff. are you, Megan? How tall? I'm 5'8". 5'8". Bobby, you set the... Wow. What is it, five? It was five. All right. Uh, how much do you weigh? Like 140. Oh, 140. Yeah. She's 5'8". Good. <laughs> I'm a 38B. And you have both of them. You're a yes. what? 38. Definitely have both of them. 38B? Yeah. 38B? That's kind of a big back for a small cup. Yeah. Uh, well, are you a swimmer? No. Leon Lett. I used to play. Well, I, I played softball like years ago. Built like awful. That's sure. what it is. <laughs> softball. What do you guys think? Well, everybody softball. always thinks stuff about the girls that play softball. 38B. Yeah. Does your back look like a cobra ready to strike? <laughs> Hey. No. no. Look, okay. Do you like Bruce Lee? Only on, only on Sundays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good old Cobra back on the phone. Hunches her back and spreads out her arms like a flying squirrel. That's right. Hey. <laughs> no? Okay. I'm just checking. No. All right. That's okay. All right. Well, How big are your feet? Uh-oh. We're like a size nine. Whoa. Big <laughs> feet. Big clunky girl. They're not, though. Why don't you go wear a big Chuck E. Cheese head and then walk not around and get their big feet? Oh, God. Even uh, those big footprints everywhere, like Bigfoot. Megan, it's not looking good so far. What do you do for a living? Okay. Are you a roofer? Do you got a do you no, what you, knuckles? What are you? <laughs> what? How long Sorry, is what? how long is your hair? It's shoulder length. Shoulder length. What color? It's blonde. So she's a tall blonde girl. Yeah, with big feet and a long back and small breasts. Click. Cobra woman. My breasts are not small. They're bees. They're bees. No way. They're not small. What are they? 38B? Yes. That's bees. wide and flat. No, it's not. I'm not knocking it. It's great if you want to build casinos, but it's bad for a bank. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Are you ready? That was Norton. I think, um... I'm, I'm still hanging in there. Barely. What, uh, you, have um, a, you have a boyfriend? No, she doesn't. No. Oh, you said that. Okay, what How's you... your ass look? Is it I have a nice ass. Well, I've been told I have a nice ass. Yeah? So, I mean, I don't know how to judge that. It's not big. It fits in the pants. She's 20. Very she might nicely. just be going through an awkward phase. Maybe brothers just walk, hey, man, you got a nice booty. <laughs> yeah. <'Cause> brothers <laughs> like a big booty, you know, when it's, yeah, with no yeah. skin. <laughs> put some hot sauce, you know what I'm saying. Hell. The uh, brothers say it's good, and then it's, watch him. What? what? You hang up on a couple of really good ones. <laughs> yeah, what is what has actually people. got you, you waiting? Guys, you guys said I was too hard. I'm sorry, no, what? no, no. We're playing your way now. No, no. No, no, no we, we play your way now. We're playing your way we now. We play your way now. We're over there. We're you you said now I, I would have had you pegged to have hung up on this girl already. Yeah. I would have hung um, up as soon as she said five eight. All right. Ha no. no. See, you set the parameters oh, at yeah, five yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah. 5A was acceptable. As soon as you hear 38B. Right. Then you got to go. Your finger should have been moving. Your fingers should have been moving. Yeah. All right, well, let's I forgot to tell you guys one last thing. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, she got us. I oh, knew that thing. was happening. No, what I she said, said uh-oh. Oh, just... Those are her last words. She didn't say anything. That's the gag. She goes, oh, one more thing. Flying click. squirrel click. Kind of yeah. Leah. Oh, we could have set up the band on her back. <laughs> no? <laughs> Good. <laughs> set up the band on her back. <laughs> if everyone's on ecstasy, she'll look just right. If you're on chips, yeah. everybody play on the house. Leah. Lee. Hello? Hi. What's up, Leah? Hi, how are you? Hi. Right. Say what you got to say. You're on go. the air. What? I want to say that you guys are so freaking lethal. Why? What's the problem? We're just, we we have an agenda here. We have a, a criteria, and the girls have to fit it, or else uh, we're we sure bail. That, we're yeah. sure all the girls are uh, lovely ladies, but we have a special girl in mind. We don't get to yeah. do this uh, often. 
I'll ja- well, you know, what can you do? You guys are freaking lethal, though. You, you know guys what? are lethal. That's not true. There's, if you're too fat, you get booted off a plane. If you're not hot enough, you don't come to the Crystal Method party. That's the way mm-hmm. it is. You know what? Definitely, definitely. One of our listeners reminded us, you know what? I was feeling a little bad about myself, but he brought up a good point about the girls from the Money Snatch. Club. Money Snatch. Oh, Two yes. words. must We must remember them. Money Snatch. Money All snatch. those girls <laughs> swore they were hot and ready for this contest. And, and they, we were very yeah. disappointed. We were like, hey, what do you look like? Oh, I'm hot. And that's all oh. they asked. That's all they had to say. Well, what are you guys I'm looking hot. for? We invited them. Brutal. What are you guys looking for? Uh, we'll just keep listening. It's very obvious. <laughs> Money snatch. All right? All right. All right. We'll, we'll do one more girl here, and then we got to take a break. And if we don't get into this hooker thing today, then our list is going to Yeah, we have to. Up. Uh, Vina. Hey, guys. Oh, Vina. <laughs> hey, uh, Vina, you're 23. Yes, I am, baby. All right. <laughs> and how tall a gal are ye? Five four. Five four, Opie fits right in. Um, how, how much, much do I weigh? Yes. <laughs> One twenty five. One twenty five. Okay. Thirty six. Right. Full C. Just got them done last year. You got them done. You have implants. Yeah. Are you a, a stripper? No, but I could be if I wanted to. Okay. Boyfriend? Not at all. Hair? My choice. What kind of hair? Mm-hmm. What kind of hair? Uh, curly black hair. Curly black hair. Mm-hmm. What and what about on green your eyes. Head? Green eyes. Yes. So black far, hair, so good. Eyes. A nice tan going because of the summer. Oh, yeah. Um, All right. I'll be your caramel delight. Yeah, not a Voss tan, is it? Excuse me? All dark and what no, dry. No, 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 no. Torso <laughs> couldn't be that long. What will you, no, I'm cute. What will you be wearing? Uh, what would you like? Is it a pool party? What kind of party? I, I could come in as a Crystal silver Method toilet. is just oh, going to no. be spinning for four hours or whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll wear my silver cat suit. Oh, silver nice. cat suit. Nice. All right. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, is it your time of month? There you go. No, not at all. When was it? Uh, about a week and a half ago, two weeks. <laughs> it's wow. two, two weeks. Two They're all weeks. synced up in New two York. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going out in two weeks all from right. today. <laughs> Vina is in. All right, baby. Yeah, I think you're in. Go ahead okay. and have it. See, she passed the audition. Are we missing any questions? Pablo, you want to ask her a question? Yeah, you know, a good dentist, my filling came out of my tooth. <laughs> it just <laughs> fell out of your tooth? It fell out of my tooth. Look at that thing, man. What the hell? Where are you I going to your just... dentist? I don't know, man. I went down to, on the corner. <laughs> Yo, kill your mama. You, you just know, lost it. My filling came out. I paid like a thousand bucks for this thing. Oh, it's going to be a real good show tonight. How you doing? Good to be. Good to be. <laughs> <laughs> sound like a, an Indian guy just coming to the country. How you doing? Good to do this. All right. Good to do this. Come on. Good to do this. Good God. Vina, you're in, okay? You are in. Hold on, and uh, Stinky will get your information. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, boys. All right, there goes Vina. All right. All right. We're not that another tough. girl. That was easy. Bam, bam, bam. Piece of cake. All right. Pablo Francisco hanging with us today. He's playing Rascals in West Orange West, all weekend long. All right? this weekend. And we got Guy Tour next week. And we got Frank Caliendo coming in, too. All right. Very good. And when we get back, believe it or not, we're going to get to the details article. Okay? Please. Mm, let me lick that off. Coming soon to the Ovi Anthony Show. Sex for Sam. Three. 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 W. It's good, Chef. Rally, pop it long. When back to shore, if you throw your ass in the water. Sports in the morning with Pharrell. Monday morning, live at 545. 1027 WNEW. We're hanging with Pablo Francisco today on the Opie and Anthony Show. I, 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 we're at Rock, Rascals. It's going to be a good show. Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. And let me tell you something. Get extra ball here, lose your ball here, get out, and you get $2 million. And my, feeling, my feeling came out. I, it's cold. I, oh, yeah. He lost the crown. you got to watch the cold beverage in there. It's, no, it's, it's all soup. It's all going to be soup. He's not happy. He lost his crown. Now yeah. he's trying to find a dentist. No, yeah. <laughs> He's playing uh, yeah. Rascals in West Orange. It'll West be a great show. Orange. It's all in the action. Cool. Oh, the pain. Yeah, you guys hear about the HIV puppet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We I, I mean, it's a sexually it. transmitted disease. I mean, where's he getting it from another puppet? Hey, you want to touch it? Come on, touch my thingy. <laughs> it's okay. You want to be on the show? Come on, touch it. <laughs> we made, uh, well, we didn't make. Rick made a couple songs about the HIV puppet. Did you? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, can I play the first one? That's first? right. And then we'll play the new one. And then if we don't do this article, man. Yeah, we're going to get shot. HIV, Stop it. The HIV puppet. I want to play the old one first. Yeah, it's, okay. It's the puppet to teach kids about AIDS in <laughs> South Africa. They're not going to use this puppet in uh, the American version of Sesame Street. Oh, really? No. 
We'll Come see. Come and play. You touch my little thingy. You <laughs> want to be on the show, don't you? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. It's already in the archives, Rick? It's in the archives. What happened, Rick? Come on, what's going on here? Didn't it used to be on cart? No, it was never on cart. It's your it's your tune. You should have it out it's like, your in your tune. wallet. I know. He was proud of the tune. Now yeah. All, have you got to find it. Have you seen my tune? It's in his tune. There he you was go. looking for the HIV. I can't find it. Oh, oh man. You're going to find it. What's the deal, man? Oh, oh Rick. No. Oh, it's your time. This was it. <laughs> this is your shot. That's right. Are Down to number know? one is that a HIV song. Oh, my God. And down to number two. Why wouldn't you have it just out? Because what can you do it? What's the deal? No oh. HIV song? All right, I'll play the new Muppet uh, song. I got then. HIV. Uh, here's, uh, here's your song? All right, here's the Muppet Show one. Okay. We know we're gonna die So why should we use condoms? I just bagged me three more guys What? I think I got it from Animal It's time to get things started So loose can tell I farted Why don't we get things started On the most sensational, homosexual, infectional Wheel of angels This is what we call <laughs> Wow. Just brings tears to your eyes, you know. Isn't that great? What do you think? Yeah, it's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> we probably got it from Animal. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Playing the drum. Yes, one pecker, here, yes. Here's the one we've been playing all week uh, about the uh, AIDS puppet there. H -I. Oh, Rick. What happened? What happened to that, Rick? Oh, boy. Go, go, go. We got to go. One AIDS virus. Two. Why don't we, uh, why don't uh. we just go find it on uh, CD somewhere? Yeah. Did he download it from a service? No, it's on a computer. I thought he had to go to, like, uh, one of those Napster-type things. and One AIDS virus. <laughs> Two infected. Uh, uh, uh. I don't understand why Three it's not infected. just laying around. Uh, uh, uh. It's a hot tune that we've <laughs> been playing all week. It's not like cookies. All right, when they find it, we'll, uh, we'll play it for yes. Pablo Francisco playing Rascals in West Orange. That's right. Thanks a lot. Come on down. It's going to be a good show. And his tooth will be fixed. All right, Details Magazine, <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Dude, what are you going to do, Mary? Said, what are you gonna do? I, I said that during commercials. What a drag. Dude, what are you going to do? The, what are you going to do? On the next O&A. What are you going to do? That blows, though. Yeah, I know, man. No pizza tonight. Uh, okay, well, Details Magazine. Ready to hit the newsstands, Anthony. Why it's okay to pay for sex. Why it's okay. Why it's okay. <laughs> so they're uh, saying it's a you, good thing. You take Blockbuster car. It says, in a perfect relationship, the man never strays. But who's perfect? The next best thing to being faithful? A guy who admits to hiring hookers. Yeah, right. So, come on. Right. Come okay. on, you like me? Come on. Listen, I don't. I got to take cash up front before anything happens. Come on, just do, come on, let's do something. <laughs> come on, just bend over. Come on. I don't know who your friend is. You pay for one. I can't, I, I'm, I'm going to leave. No, 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 don't leave. Come back here. There will be no dead air on this show today. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. Let me see your cookie. Chocolate chip cookie. Uh, chocolate chip. I don't know who your friend is. You pay for no one. pause, no <laughs> subtle. You pay for pause. one. What are you talking about? You pay for one client. Now you got two guys in here. No. He's just going to watch. Slow. <laughs> pause. Sometimes pause is good. Sometimes. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, it's all right. And to my friend that I was talking to, I apologize. The intern yanked the cord out, so I'm sorry you got hung up on. Personal message. I'm so aggravated right now. I want to. I wish I had AIDS so I could bite somebody. <laughs> what happened to you? We're trying to do a radio show. You're flirting with chicks. His no, teeth, no, I'm not flirting. It was his just teeth is <laughs> are falling out. He just yanked the thing out, and then Sands said, eh, eh, cord, eh. Oh, God. Wait, yeah. what happened? Why would you touch anything? Why? Who are you talking to? He was on the phone with somebody. It's very important uh, phone call. And uh, Francine, I guess. Why would you touch anything? Pulled the cord out of the phone. 
Why would you do If I saw you on the phone, I would never think, oh, duh, and tug. It would never occur to me to tug a cord Get out. Get Francine in here. I, there's, there's, she pulled the cord out just, of the... What? <laughs> oh, God. And he hits the paper bag. <laughs> Francine. Why are you cursing now? Grab, the, grab uh, that mic. Go, yeah. oh, uh, Okay, what, what, um, why did you pull the cord out of Jimmy's phone? I didn't pull the cord, I pushed a button. Why? I was trying to put someone on hold. <laughs> and it was, uh, oh, the just... button that Jimmy was on, huh? I think so. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Oh, she's leaving oh, she's now. She's taking off. Good. There's, uh, she just came in with her little shorts. Yeah. And I press hold. I press the button. I you know where the, the button. What are you talking about, Willis? You, you know where the it? HIV song is, Ben, now that you're back in the studio? Wow. We, we have an HIV song? We should be celebrating song. birthdays during the week, I just realized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My birthday today, by People the way. People are just wandering in and out. <laughs> Everyone's Ben's, lost. Ben's just walking. People's teeth are missing. Ben's wandering around. Hookers are okay. What's the deal? <laughs> Which song? Uh, the, uh, Which song? <laughs> <I don't laughs> HIV song. Puppets. Getting tainted blood. HIV song. HIV song. You know the, the one we've yes. been playing all week? Right. Blood. All right, Ben's now looking for it now that he's back working for the show. Muppets. I'd say a dump. Aha. Take a steamer. Nice, oh, yeah. nice there. North Boston dump. Boston <laughs> dump. <laughs> Cheese and alcohol. <laughs> Cheese and alcohol. Good God. <laughs> Ben's just wandering around throwing his hands up. Whoa. Oh, he just threw something at... at uh, Why are you throwing no, something at It bounced off of the yeah. mic and almost hit me. Nice herky-jerky <laughs> dump. <laughs> what did he throw? We might need to play that. Andrew WK. He drew, and he threw Andrew WK's CD. Yeah. Yeah. And alcohol. Andrew WK's, uh, to getting hung up. Why are you throwing his CD? He went to I your party last CDs. night. Tainted blood. Oh, my God. And this guy's not shutting up because his tooth is missing. And his tooth. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what the F is going on? Tonight? Tainted blood. Pears what? head. What's and subhumans. What's wrong now? What? What? Doug UL. Doug UL is here? Doug UL. Yeah, but he's, he's a cool guy. Right. Doug UL. <laughs> this is the freakiest <laughs> show I've ever been party to. What happened? Um, I'll start with Sal. <laughs> You're going to blame Sal? Uh -oh. Anthony, make sure you bring your boxes. Ben, how many hours sleep did you have? Four. Four. Four hours sleep Ben's working on. All right, I got the Christopher Street song. Okay. Let's... So now we can back up ten minutes, all right? Let's play that. Do you remember what we were talking about? HIV, then hookers, <laughs> yeah. tainted blood, oh, pants head, subhuman, and a, and oh. a tooth that came out. Not the hookers. Oh, tainted blood. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. No, uh, HIV, HIV Muppet. Muppet Show for South Africa. For South Africa. They're not going to use that Muppet in America. Not going to use it in America. But the, he's, he's humoring me today in a weird way. I don't know why. <laughs> tainted blood. Make him drink uh, ice cold water. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Come on. Will you do that okay, for it? No, I can't. Just put it right in <laughs> where the filling came out? God, God. No? I got an idea. It feels like a Lego. Someone get a nice wad of tinfoil for Paul Ow! Francisco. <laughs> oh, God. That, he's, a, he's, missing that hurts. A, he's missing a crown to begin with. Here, just take a sip of this ice cold water. Let's see if it works. It's not gonna, it'll probably activate it. Then it'll probably do, can't do the show. Don't be doing the show. Yeah, do put it right on it. You're fine. It won't hurt. Nothing? No. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. nothing? No, it's the... I put the crown already over it to protect it, so I'm holding the crown up with it. All right. So, ben, what are you oh. talking about? Protection. The version of the song that you were looking for was right there. Oh, well, thank you, Ben. All right. <laughs> so pop it in. <laughs> I got it. I got another I copy already on, on the CD player. <laughs> <one. laughs> Usually I get pissed off, but this is a hilarious scene. Ben is sweating profusely. He doesn't want to be here. You all right? I'm fine. Yes, sir, Ben. HIV. Ten minutes. Not in Africa. All right, ready, Ann? Yeah. Here's the <laughs> the Christopher Street song. Okay. About the uh, the okay. the puppet. The okay. puppet. Away 
on our way to Christopher Street. On our way to Christopher Street. On our way to Christopher Street. Why is Rick comforting Jim Norton? What the F is going on here today? Rick is are comforting right? Norton. I'm, only, I'm not out of his mind right Dude, now. Why are you out of your mind? I still I'm, got a radio show to I, do. I, you're right. I took it out on Francine. It, she is retarded, but that was, I, something else happened with uh, uh, tickets on Ticketmaster that I've had on my website for a month, and Ticketmaster isn't selling them because the promoter said, yeah, go through Ticketmaster. So I put a link on Ticketmaster. Oh, that's not how you get them. So people have been clicking, looking for my name, and they haven't been getting tickets for a month. He always has a problem with his shows. Oh, there really is. It's everything. No one. There's always a problem with your shows. Could you get Francine back in here? We got to get everyone back on the same page so we can continue the radio. Same show. page. We got to get them on the on the same book first. <laughs> it's same page. Tainted blood. I <laughs> needed those 20 minutes ago. That's why I was pissed that you weren't here. I had to go. To I the understand. Bathroom. Now you're all excited <laughs> that you're here. That's right. Ben just, <laughs> just like, sounds like Ricky Lake in here. Now it's all making sense. I was frustrated because Ben right. wasn't here. Because when we need something, Ben knows what I, I need, right? Right. He wasn't here because he was too busy taking his Boston dump that Jim had to point out. <laughs> in between Pablo Francisco's tooth falling out. And and the rest, okay? When Francine came in, I wanted to play some of her, you know, her theme songs and right. stuff. But I couldn't find him because I couldn't find Ben. Uh, out of nowhere, Ben did, pokes me really hard on the back, all excited, and puts this stuff into the machine, which I needed the last time Francine came into the studio. <laughs> I, I called from down the hall saying I was going to take a dump. And so they knew <laughs> where I was. Cheese. 20 cities know that you would go on duty 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Look, he hates that. Alcohol he and hates cheese. It. What kind of? It was alcohol and cheese. <laughs> All right, so now he's very excited. So now we can play these because we want to play this as uh, as Francine walks into the studio. Yeah. She's a dip, and a moron. She never learned to add two and two. She says that she's in college, but she can't tie her shoes. He's going in to intern Francine. Ah! That's that's her. <laughs> a little song. She has a little song. A little song. I thought Harry Connick right. Jr. was going to get in there. Hey, All right, now, Francine. Jim, solve your problem with Francine. You can't be calling her retard behind her back. I would say that to her. There's no problem with Francine. The call is dead. The person didn't call back. That's the end of it. <laughs> You're, you're, uh, really annoyed. Yeah. Happy family. you shouldn't have pressed the button, I guess. Just, I you know, know what they teach you in radio if anything. you go to school for this and stuff? You know when you go through that door that you went through? I know. You I have know, to leave your, like, your right. problems you're right. out there. I know you're right. <laughs> but every time you walk out that door, you <laughs> get a I new can't problem. Help it. I can't help it. I just, I'm not even doing shtick. It just, I apologize. It drives me nuts. He, Jim Norton will leave the studio during commercials. He goes to the computer and the phone. And something on either one of those will always cause him such distress that he, that he comes in just on the radio yelling show. and pissed off at someone on the phone or someone on the computer. For a month, the guy said, yeah, yeah. I had a little, little link. I did it myself. Uh, HREF equals oh. <laughs> Steve, when he was not in an alcoholic stupor, could teach me Hotmail uh, or whatever it's called, HTML. HTML Hotmail. Hotmail yeah. <laughs> HTML, and I did it myself, and uh, people have been going to Ticketmaster email me for a month. All right, get Steven here from FoundryMusic.com. I don't think he'd appreciate that you're calling him an alcoholic. I'm not calling him an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm not. Cool. Old flea belly? And Francine, <laughs> stay close, because uh, you, uh, you got to... He's what? calling you an alcoholic. No, I didn't. I should... I, no, I said when I'm not in an alcoholic stupor, now yeah, I can see Right, there you go. Know. Right, no, alcohol and, and I are going to have a long talk. Yeah, You've yeah, helped him out with some code. Part ways and why are they calling you cheap? I never said you were cheap. Ben, is, ben said that so not true. You of all people shouldn't be calling me cheap. I, didn't say that. Oh. I said that he gets mad when he calls him cheap. This all started in Philadelphia. Well, nobody likes being. Called oh, Ben cheap. called him cheap call and him Steve. Well, I think he called him cheap, and then he got mad, so we called him cheap all weekend. He gets mad. It's just but didn't he grab you by your reaction. shirt collar? Steve like grabbed you by your shirt collar and almost threw you. Yeah. Are you cheap? No, not even no, remotely. It's a joke. No. Oh, all right. No. He gets mad. <laughs> ben, Ben, Ben likes antagonizing people. He likes just fishing for a reaction. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Sky's no. blue, water's um, wet. Ben likes antagonizing people. And you're not in a drunken stupor today. No, no. you're fine. No, I'm fine. No, 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 no. The alcohol thing is going to have to get rectified. This whole no stomach thing is really. Oh, oh really? Like yeah. Pablo, yeah. he doesn't really have a stomach. What's that? What are you talking about? He had it stapled. I had it removed. Yeah, he was yeah. stapled. Well, were, you, were you fat? Yeah, about 110 pounds. Are you year. serious? Yeah. 
How much pounds you lose? 110 pounds. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hence the 110 Way to go, pounds heavier. Chad. That's great. <laughs> Look how obnoxious he is. <laughs> That's That's great. Great. Steve great. really is mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, like how, how far does the scar go? Does it go all the way all the way to your chest? Yeah, I'll show you. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's covered with hair. It's oh, my covered God. with. It looks like a Ugh. badge. It's <laughs> great, man. Congratulations. So, yeah, but it's just the alcohol just affects you alcohol. a lot differently when you don't have a, a stomach to mm -hmm. to hold it and break down the alcohol. It How just big goes, is your stomach? Probably about that big right now. Yeah. The but size there's of a no but liquid walnut. goes right through, so this alcohol isn't stopping anywhere. It's going straight to my liver, which <laughs> has finally just occurred to me might not be the best thing for me to be doing. Is sure, it is. sure it is. Sure it is. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, wow. That's good. All right. <laughs> August 10th, you don't have to go to Ticketmaster if you want to see me at the Count Basie Theater because you can't get tickets there. All right, Francine looks upset. Francine, grab the mic. You okay, Francine? Why, did she have an important call disconnected? <laughs> I don't blame you for being upset. That really is oh aggravating, isn't God, it? Oh, God, no. You are all right, Francine? She's pissed. I'm sorry, Norton. But I, know, I know, and no, I stick, like Francine. Stick up for yourself. You called you retarded. I don't care. What? I, I didn't write the theme song, a ditch and a dope and a moron, <laughs> with a sound bite. <laughs> I like Francine. Ah! Exactly. And I get you coffee every I, day. I like you, and you know I like you. I just, it happens that this, I'm not even plugging. Who so, cares? August 10th. Do you want that girl to listen. call back, and then we could get back on track it, here? It, it, not, not, dude, this is what is annoying me. This, this Ticketmaster screw-up had nothing to do with <laughs> anything. It just They're like Eddie Vedder. Pearl Jam with uh, the uh, Ticketmaster. No, thing. I want Ticketmaster. <laughs> oh, <Orange>. oh, <laughs> it's easy. But no, no, I, I got to give out a number. It's for August tenth. It's eight four two nine thousand seven three two area code. I apologize, but it's supposed to be on my website, and I don't think it is. But we're trying to promote Pablo Francisco. It's all right, man. I'm August tenth. I need a dentist. Go. All right, Francine, eight four two right? nine thousand. All right, yeah. get back to the phones. They await. Pablo is tonight. And <laughs> there she goes, Francine. Come on, check us out. Francine. 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 Ah! The angry intern. <laughs> Who's that? Bart Simpson? <laughs> Doesn't that sound like Bart? It's Francine. Ah! <laughs> That's Francine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that some yell? That was a yell from hell. <laughs> Subhuman, tainted blood, no teeth, HIV songs. What's wrong with your computer, Ant? I, I just, by... Celine Dion. By, by just... It just sucks, doesn't it? Uh, it's a habit now. It's totally not working. Why, I it still is down. The guy I cut the, the computer's down. You don't know what you're going to do. The kid's hitting with all the kids. Why, did Francine hit a button while you were in the middle of it? What are you doing? He's really annoyed at that oh. computer. There you go. Oh. That. There we go. Holy smoke. All time, I, all time I come here, you guys destroy something. <laughs> Fix it. I think I know the problem. <laughs> you guys don't know how to handle your alcohol. They destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys. <laughs> Pablo, you want something to drink? Text it. There we go. Hey, you broke my computer! Oh, look, it rebooted. <laughs> it's it's actually booting. Oh, hilarious. Perhaps I fixed it. What's all this circuitry? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, what's the deal? You guys are always destroying things. Expensive pinball machines. You want a D key? Thanks. Put that in my. It looks like my tooth filling. D, as in don't call yeah. Ticketmaster. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, is, all right. Hopefully is everyone cool now? It. And you're all right? I feel much better because this has been pissing me off Jim, you feel since I we got here. I knew it was here. coming because I could see him hitting the keys harder. I was and just, <laughs> I could see it. I'm like, he's going to break it. I'm a nut with computers. I have to have one on in front of me at all times. Jim, you all right? Yeah, I know. No, you're I, back to normal? I'm good, man. Thank you. I apologize. Steve? I was really annoyed. I'm fine. You're fine? So yeah. you're all right with the cheap comment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Come on. We Pablo? all know the cheap one. You're all right. My tooth, my filling's back in, but I, it needs glue. But I'm cool. Okay. I can't believe you just smashed. You just smash a lot of things. Um, they over. break everything. It's ben, do you have way. to evacuate again? <laughs> 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 All right. Ask him what wow. kind of dump it was. I don't know. Maybe we should just set up a little bowl right there. He's not happy. Coffee can or something. I also destroyed my copy of the uh, story about the hookers that we're never going to get to. <laughs> Would you like mine? Because I have no. All right, here, go get a. Make another copy of the hooker story. stories. 
Make another copy here. Here's the here's the details magazine. <laughs> oh, you really smashed that computer. <laughs> oh, jeez. I didn't think you were going to do it. Oh, it Windows so did not detect a mouse or keyboard. <laughs> mm, I can't even click on do not show this message in the future. <laughs> Just tell it not to. <laughs> Hippie with a job in Buffalo. Despite what you guys may think, this is a good show. Ben publicizing his dumb classic. Norton Pest, always funny. Pablo Francisco, effing hilarious. Can I use any more exclamation points? Points? I don't think so. All right. Do you have faxes? Facsimile. Facsimile. Broken keyboard. Tinted blood. Joe, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. I've heard college stations more organized and professional than this. It's <laughs> such a mess. Yeah. I got to agree with you on that oh one. God, oh. dude. Later. Rick, you don't have any problems, right? Rick's okay? Rick is great. No, I did all this giant damn work today. We're never going to get to any of it. <laughs> like what? I sat through Robin Williams again. Hey, oh, hey, yes. Oh yeah, we're trying. To, <laughs> we're trying to ter- yes. determine if he's funny or not. Is he? All, have you seen his show? Yeah, no, I twice. Seen it. It's good. The uh, HBO show? Yeah. Have you seen it? No. I thought it. Uh, I saw it, uh, most of it. Was at least it? Some was, of it. It, was it decent? Uh, no, blows. I don't like the guy. I don't think he's funny at all. Just what? You just would he go a whole hour or half hour? He went an hour. It was an hour and an hour and forty, I think. So just wow. oh look a spring, yeah, boing boing, huh. and everyone laughs and and oh, it's like oh, oh, they're just oh, laughing spring. because it's Robin Williams and they feel they they're supposed to. That's a good, good Robin. But he doesn't have anything. <laughs> I know what we can do. The Pantera thing real fast. Oh, can we? <laughs> Pantera. Now Rick's all in a tizzy. Pantera. <laughs> My enter key doesn't work. <laughs> Gee, I can't believe the keyboard doesn't work. I'm hitting. They it's broke half the of keyboard. It, half of it's gone, and I'm trying to hit enter to get the message off my they screen. They broke the keyboard. That, that message is taunting Everybody, you reminding you of your behavior. Come to the show tonight. Stinky, what are you doing today? I'm looking for a new keyboard. Why? No, don't worry about it. The computer's broke. I, I, I was ready to put the keyboard right through the uh, the monitor. Did you see how them keys were flying back and forth, up and down? This is ben is so happy right now. Yeah. There's a bunch of... All right. All right. Very good. All right. Are we ever getting to that uh, story? Yeah, we got to make more copies because you destroyed yours. I know. I, it got all torn up underneath the... What key. are you laughing at, Ben? Those keys were flying. They look like teeth, man. <laughs> the ravaged keys. What is that? What are those blue things? Viagra? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're for pushing the keyboard thing. Like, it's like, what a it's mess. like that little space between your cheek and gum. What a goddamn <laughs> mess. All right, can we play more Pantera Phil clips? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, do you listen to Pantera? Yeah, I listen to Pantera. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. <laughs> Look at that. You don't know who Pantera is. I know what Pantera is. Right, it's a heavy super metal band. It's like uh, it's like Anthrax. <laughs> heavy super metal band. Heavy super heavy band. Yeah, you know. It's one of those. Well, we talked to him, and he was um, very wasted. Totally, he, yeah. He admitted that he was on methadone, but we think it might have been uh, the big H. Of course. Heroin? We believe so, yeah. but we can't prove it. He admitted it was methadone. Methadone. That's when you're coming off of big H. Yeah. And, uh, and we got some fun stuff out of him. So here's, uh, <laughs> what? Look at Anthony daintily trying to put it back together. <laughs> no, I'm putting the keys back in the broken part of the key. Right on top of the Viagra. I'm just dropping them in. Oh, I'm not great. trying to fake. This is beyond yeah. repair. Please. <laughs> oh. So here's Phil from Pantera talking about marijuana. Marijuana. It's a quick clip. But marijuana is one of those things that the majority of... America has smoked yeah. dope. Right. You know? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's the <laughs> bigger, scarier <laughs> drugs that horrify people, you know? Jesus, he gone. Oh my God, there, there are all stars. Here's more <laughs> Phil. I've oh, lived man. a hardcore f- life, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I hear that. And I am a... Uh, You've led a... Thorough, thorough examiner of... Um, Things that that most people wouldn't get near, uh, you know, with a ten foot pole, you know, and and that's why I call myself and people like myself lifers, man. You know, you always have that flair in you that is gonna make you live on the edge every day of your life. <laughs> So gone. 
Life for Mary. Sounds like the beginning of 2010. Oh my god, there are stars. It's all stars. It's all stars. And a little life, man. And let me tell you man. Speaking of space, I wish I could get into a time machine and go back in a few hours. I know. I wish I could go to August 10th in Red Bank at the Count Basie Theater. Oh. Get those from Ticketmasters. <laughs> all right, here's no, more no Phil. Let's hear some more Phil. When I was 15 years old, I burned my parents' house down. What, what the hell? <laughs> Seven days ago, I wrecked my brand new truck going 65 miles an hour that's I, just, I can't believe that guys you guys are really who's talking to that guy uh, we were we were yeah just what was this out at a bar it was at Ozfest. Ozfest. Yeah. yeah that guy's shot here's a, uh, another clip I feel like I'm t too old for uh, going to sleep or something man I'm like <laughs> I just, I feel like one walking St. Vitus record, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because, yeah. 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 Wait, what? Right. Record, man. Dude, he could be the coolest man on the face of the uh, earth. Totally. He cool. He was walking around like drug uh, fiend rocker. The dude from Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were leading no him around. He, they were leading him around. He looked like he was just a corpse. But there's a charisma to him, man. People really, it's uh, not just because, like, I didn't know who he was, but I was like, well, who? you knew he was somebody. There's when something you hang cool. and talk cool like dude. Stephen Wright. People yeah. think you're cool. Yeah, I'm gonna your heroin. Big eight thing. Was he like weekend at Bernie's? Like was like a pinball machine? Bing, bing. Yeah, he, he was a mess. But yeah. he was Ow. aware though. He wasn't stupid at all. He was. Oh, I, I wouldn't call him stupid. No, nah. at all. Heard like, heroin's better than sex. That's what I hear. Here's uh, him talking about the side effects of methadone. All right. Um. <laughs> yes, it has some side effects, but you know, comparatively to. Being absolutely illegal, being absolutely destitute, mm -hmm. being absolutely at the mercy of this horrific drug. Yeah. It, um, it makes a whole... A lot more sense. Uh, so I almost said the it really one, did. Man. I did. So are you on this methadone right now? Yes, I am. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 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 So, so, talking so slow, it's like R two D two and C P three O right in front of Java's place, and that thing comes out that ball. R two D two and is that a good analogy? <laughs> good enough. R two D two. Okay. <laughs> He, there's there's no off button on him. I'm sorry, man. I'm he on. Me I, you know, do I need methadone? Are you on the methadone? Uh, What's up, uh, man? Teeth falling out from all the drugs. You know what I'm saying? I'm the Hawaiian hey, punch. Hey, candy. Josh. Hawaiian punch <laughs> candy knocking out the two feelings. You know what I'm saying? Josh, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Hi, Angel. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're on. Yeah, do you, I was out by talking to you, and at Alice Fest. Uh huh. What was Outside, that? and I showed you the picture that Phil signed. Yeah. And he just, when he was signing it, all he did was just make a line. He didn't even sign the picture. Oh, he when he signs autographs? Yeah, he just draws a straight line. A straight line? <laughs> on something. That's his autograph. Right. Phil. Dude, you can draw me an equator. <laughs> Dude, I'm just going to put a line on this piece of paper. We got two more clips to play. Here's Phil talking about his birthday. How old a guy are you, man? <laughs> what? How old a guy? How old is what? <laughs> what are you? How old am I? I just turned 34 June 30th. Happy birthday. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I don't think he thought you were being sincere. <laughs> you think? Yeah. I don't Someone think... else just turned 34? Oh, little Jimmy Norton. Happy <laughs> birthday, Jim. Happy birthday to, to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> me. You All know right. what I want to hear for my birthday? All right, Jim. <laughs> now it's your birthday. Remember, on the face. <laughs> 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 
One more clip from Phil. All right. And I have a Rottweiler dog named Dracula. <laughs> and me and him walk the woods. And I have two white sand beaches. What state, man? Louisiana. Louisiana? Yes. I was nice. born and raised in New Orleans. Yeah. That explains a lot. <laughs> Yeah, man. Mardi Gras. Yeah, M Mardi Gras. He doesn't sound southern, though, man. You can't no. Say, he's he's in the Pennsylvania for some reason. What's Pennsylvania? He's like, All right. in the Cajun food? All right, we're gonna we're gonna step aside here. We 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 really have to get to uh, that story. Yeah. And, about hookers? Um, I see Andrea is 18 years old. She Ooh. wants to uh, be at our party. All right. So we should talk to her. Quick, Francine, hang up on her. <laughs> <laughs> and Pablo Francisco, what's up? <laughs> he says Dracula? All Spanish. What? Yeah, that's what he said. That guy said something about Dracula. That guy walked with Dracula in the woods, man. And, you know, quackity. All Spanish DJs sound like Dracula. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Es mucho tráfico esta mañana. Si, 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 si. That is the first thing you've said today that I've understood. <laughs> oh, would you talking about tinted blood? Pants head? Sub, 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 subhuman? <laughs> see? <laughs> so it's coming, out, coming out scatters. Break another keyboard. <laughs> what did you then my tooth came out. All right. You're what? picking up my keys, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> He's showing me the O key and going, oh. They're collector's items. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to sell ants keys on eBay. There you go. All right. We want to thank Pablo Francisco for stopping in. We're going to be at Rathbold, no, man. In uh, West Orange all weekend. Very funny guy. And we got Guy Tori and Frank Colliano coming in. All right. Very good. And cool. we're going to... We're going to regroup and get to something next. All right, thanks, guys. The management of this radio station brings you these relaxing sounds of nature. Now, Opie and Anthony present the sound of someone eating glass. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Holy Jesus, I'm going to watch this. Cringe Radio. The Opie and Anthony Show. So alive for the very first time. I won't shut up. Holy oh, Jesus Christ. I feel so alive. Yes, and I won't shut up. Down for two seconds. Jesus! Shut up! I think I can fly. Look, I'm flying. Look, I'm flying now. Holy mother of Jesus Christ on the cross. We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Yes, we're back. We're on. We're back. Don't even leave time to breathe. Ben brought up a great point. Yes? The guests of the Opie and Anthony show will not be drinking Red Bull before they come into the studio. Oh, my ever God. Ever again. Ever again. Hey, we all love the Red Bull, man, but not before you're supposed to do a radio show. <laughs> Last time I saw anyone talking like that, it was, we had just bought uh, a couple of eight balls of Coke, and there was none left. I felt like I was in that Star Trek episode where... No Coke. Star Trek episode. Where you and I were, like, in, in normal motion, and everything around us was really, really fast. Right. <laughs> AIDS song. HIV. Tainted blood. <laughs> HIV. AIDS song. Tainted blood. What? We're moving on to hookers. Hookers. Hookers and AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> Subhuman. Little midget girl coming to the party. I had it. I had. I. I apologized to my keyboard. I had to smash something. You know something? I blame the sun today. It, it went away. I think the sun decided it doesn't want to uh, shine anymore. Here in New York, I swear, I looked at the clock and it says uh, five uh, fifty, whatever. Fifty quarter to six. It's it been was. like this for what a half hour. It is pitch dark outside our windows right now. Dark as pitch night. Dark. Dark as night. Dark as night. Black. Black as the night. Night. H I V. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Savior, Lord, Savior, on the cross, Jesus. Look, I'm hanging on the cross, I'm hanging on the cross, look, I'm hanging on the cross. AIDS, AIDS, HIV, puppets. Scott, what's up? Yeah. Hey, hey Pablo's got the timing of Limo Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, I've seen his act and stuff. Hilarious. And funny. He really is hilarious. I, I don't, I, I, you know. Between losing a crown and three or four Red Bulls before he got Maybe the, the Red Bull. That was a lethal combination for today's show.
<laughs> I swear to God, if we were talking and you went like, so, Opie, between so and Opie, so, so, so your pants, so your pants, so, so, so your pants, so, 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 so the cartoon character that walked around went around with a blimp. Look, I'm flying, I'm flying, HIV, HIV, puppets, puppets, girls, party, crystal meth, crystal method, what, what, who? Eight song, eight song. Come and play, everything's A-OK, -okay. I'm yay, Christopher Street. What? <laughs> Oh, huh, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted, and I smashed my keyboard because I swear, if it wasn't the keyboard, my head would have went through with the monitor. To please, please put me out of my misery. I haven't left that hard a long time because you can see you can see the frustration on everyone's faces, and we didn't know how to stop it. Did you see what I was doing? My computer wouldn't work, which is even worse because normally I will just look at the computer screen and, and type away. You were looking straight ahead like an abuse victim. I sw I was I was looking at the phone bank. Which is, nothing's happening there. I was staring at it. Oh, there was a lot happening on the phone bank. Oh, my God. I, I read a couple of the instant feedbacks. Could be the most brutal, brutal instant feedbacks we've ever had. Even over Dustin Diamond. Dustin Diamond, Diamond, Diamond in the rough. All right, you hear that thunder? Yeah. I am. Thunder, thunder, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Are we back? Yes, we're back. I noticed you. You know something, Hope? You pulled a very good strategic move. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> First of all, we did not get back to the hooker story because we never, ever, ever would have gotten through it. And I liked the... All right. We'd like to thank Pablo. Well, there's no We'd turning. like to thank Pablo. There's no turning back at that point. Now, you know our show. Anybody that's listening to the show knows. You come in here. You're here until we leave. When when a guest comes in, they're here until seven. The, it, it was impossible. <laughs> you wrote that at five ten, Rick. <laughs> it's wrap a, it up with Pablo <laughs> at five ten. It took me a half hour to figure out how to do it. <laughs> wrap 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 it up. Wrap it up, and I'll take it. Fabulous Thunderbirds. That's why I hate calling me because I always know that. Oh, so, all, right, all right, Jim, we're here. We got to get you. Uh, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna wrap it up with you. That's why I hate doing. We're gonna calling. let you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I'll call God. in. He'll be like, all right, call in the marks. I want to ask you something. I'll call in. All right, Jim, we're here. We got to let you go. We know you got to get on a thing. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> like I said, I, I've seen the guys act. It's very funny. And you know what? I will defend him. He was in here. Um, Defense. Defend me. Four or five months ago. He was beyond hilarious. But I don't know what happened today with the Red Bull. That wasn't the real Pablo. He was trying too hard. I, it might have had something to do with the crown falling out. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> No. <laughs> Am I wrong here? All right. Nope. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Tainted love, tainted blood, tainted blood, tainted blood, love. <laughs> Muppets, Muppets. Look, I'm a Muppet. I got the AIDS. I'm going to... What? <laughs> All ben, right. Ben is back to being bored. He was enjoying himself for a little while. Now you're back to being. Like ben likes the weird, uncomfortable situations. <laughs> yeah, the laughs his ass off. Just over there with his newly cleansed bowels. Just <laughs> ben is a very private person yeah. when it comes to his uh, d doing things like that. His, his Just dumping. The fact that he frustratedly had to tell all the city. All right, look, I was on the toilet. He had to tell on the toilet. <laughs> Do you I have mean... a pain in your stomach? Sit on the toilet. Yes, ben. I ran to the back and I knew, I called down here and gave answer phone. I said, "Listen, I'm gonna be down here for a good ten minutes." Right. All right. And I explained. Well, no one more. relayed the message, and we needed all that fun stuff for the uh, show. Stinky news. Yeah. And the CD was right there on CD, top of the pile. right there, so right there on the pile. Right there, we're on past the pile. The, we're past the CD thing. Okay. All right, Anthony. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a goddamn day, man. I actually thought it was going to be a game to see how many other audio clips we could play while he was still here. Oh, my God, I know. We went, there's like, is there more Phil? Can you play more Phil? And Phil's clips have silence all over it. And he was filling the gap. Phil's just like, well, I'd go, I burnt down my parents' house when I was... Burn down the house! Burn down the house! You burn down the house! Burning down the house live. Here he is, Phil from Pantera. Burning down. Fourteen years old. 
That's why I went into a state of panic when we couldn't find the song. Dude, he was singing over Rick's song parody. And you are a smart ass because you left this mic on during it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should know by now I love being annoyed and it just makes me... Oh, it was... It makes me get... Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Your gut is awful. <laughs> Look at that. Happy birthday, birthday boy. Oh, God. Happy oh, birthday God. to me. <laughs> Look, I have an eight-month-old baby in my stomach for my birthday. <laughs> you don't even have a hint of a you muscle. Pull this shirt up. You are so doughy. I'm a fat pig, selfish fool. <laughs> I will never claim to be in that great of shape, but at least I have hints of muscle. I, have, I don't have any. Don't have... Don't... Those Pringles from yesterday went right to you. Oh, they're awful. Believe me. That's great. I don't just write things down and think, oh, that would be funny to say. I just do them and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I really have stood there and pinched it until there were fingerprints in it. Pinching fat. Yeah. Can't get it out of my head now. <laughs> my poor keyboard. I was so frustrated. I smashed my keyboard. And I saw you, I was trying to egg you on because I saw your fingers hitting it and I know what's next. I'm like, yeah, you got it. You know, it was so I was just over through. and over again typing, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> My side hurts. No, I can improv all day. Oh. <laughs> all right. oh. Mark's right. Pablo, last time with the Jackie Chan stuff that he was doing, it was Hilarious. very funny. The Arnold stuff was fun. All right. It's just a different day. This time, it was the Red Bull. It was a different day today. Red Bull. Okay, Aunt. The hooker story next. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Look at the time. Ah, we suck. <laughs> it's really dark out, man. I know Ben's pointing a storm thing. I know, Ben. What's the storm thing? Storm's coming. See that thing? That tells us if a storm's coming. Storm. It's a little teletype I, uh, thing. Ben likes to look at that. I like to look out the window to see yeah. if a storm's coming. <laughs> yeah. Ben's like storm's coming. Yeah. I saw it ticking on the paper coming out of the machine. Oh, that look out the window. All right. Thanks for calling, and here's the Opie and Anthony FU line. Yeah, I want to send a big you out to the New York Times for writing an article about all about how we're planning to attack Iraq and what we're actually going to do to attack. You know, I know those are stupid, but I'm pretty sure those can read. Nice head, geeks. Next message. Hi, this is a big you to the guy in the red van side swipe my car in the Gowanus in Brooklyn yesterday then sped away before I got his whole plate number. Listen, you ass. I'll recognize your van. I'll recognize your goddamn Pennsylvania plate. If I see you again, I'm going to cut you off and pull you over. And I got a bat in the car with your name on it. I'll bash your skull in you. Her. Next message. Yeah, I'd like to give a big F you out to the IRS and the scum that stole my social security number and made my f***ing life a living hell for the last 10 goddamn years. Scumbag! I hope you f***ing die, you with your f***ing 18 kids. Scumbag! F***ing you! End of messages. Opie and Anthony's Inappropriate Moments. Number 32. The Inappropriate Birthday Party. Happy birthday to you. Eat my Suck my Happy birthday to... Stick the bottle in your... Happy birthday, ten-year-old nieces. Me! Me! Hey! Happy birthday to... Stick it in her... The Opie and Anthony Show. Ben's a potty mouth in commercials, but the funny thing is you say the F word and look and see the mics are on, and then stop talking after the curse goes out. Yeah. <laughs> Was there a curse there? I don't think you heard it. What did you say? You had to take another effing dump? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I spilled my coffee during the commercial break all over the place. Coffee and that. pizza? No wonder you exploded in the toilet. <laughs> right? That <Not> almighty. <laughs> What's the matter? Is there any X likes available? Uh, Coffee and pizza. Uh, We're back with the Opie and Anthony uh, uh, show debacle. Using that term very loosely today. I think if Ben takes solid dumps. <laughs> I'm not trying to be weird, but I'll bet you they're like, 
an inch long and three inches wide. <laughs> like little rock'em sock'em robot heads. There's a lot of cheese on that pizza, too. <laughs> it's going to be a mess Beads later. sweat on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a karate fight in that stall? No. (laughs) 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 Ben just wants to go home. That's hilarious. You were the one that messed up this whole show, and you don't even know it, by having a party last night. Trying to wipe (laughs) herky-jerky movements, paper all over the stall. (laughs) (laughs) You look kind of not amused in the least. Let's move on. (laughs) Bowel move on. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) What's the deal? Oh my God, <laughs> Pablo! What's the deal, man? What it was, that, it was the pinball machine. What kind of drugs are you doing today? It was it was it was a pinball machine. It was like throwing those little those little program things. Get out! Painted blood. Pablo, was it the Red Bull? It was the Red Bull in the tooth, man. Was it? Yeah, it was something, man. Did you did you notice? That you didn't stop talking <laughs> at all from the time you came in till the time you left. Like not, it, there wasn't even an opening to jump in to start a subject. I don't, it, 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 I don't even I don't think know. we ever introduced them. <laughs> it was that dead time or something, man. It was it was that Muppet song. It's like you said, you wanted Jackie Chan. Here we go. You got the broccoli. Oh, come on, you got the beef. You got the broccoli. Okay, <laughs> okay, we're done. Okay. <laughs> Your mama is so fat, Buddha rubs her stomach for good luck. Don't you break keep huh? In my tooth and red bull, oh what the hell? Jesus. Oh my god. Pablo, we defended you. We said that you're a really funny guy. Thanks, man. And you're at Rascals in uh West Orange uh, all week at long. Go see the show. Go see, Come see my show. Just don't drink any more Red Bull before you hit the stage tonight. Red and Bull. <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> it tainted blood. Red Bull. Tainted blood. Okay, it's raining out here, guys, but thank you so much. All right. All right, Pablo. Thank you. All right. Don't pa- take no more keyboards. Pablo. Peace. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps it was the Red Bull. Yeah. Okay. Red Bull and tainted blood. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wow. There's some sick. Was that your stomach rumbling? (laughs) (laughs) There's the thunder outside. Oh. Oh. Priming up for another evacuation. (laughs) The cheese working its way through Ben. Ben, I thought cheese didn't sit well with you. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. He's so, he's so annoyed that we're talking about his bowel movements. Why, dude? You're my favorite people. I don't care if you take horrible, loud dumps. He's percolating. Yeah. Hey, there's something you don't see in a toilet every day. Old Chewbacca colon. That <laughs> 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 is hilarious. Did he clean up the mess you made, the coffee and the keyboard and the computer and stuff? Pretty close. Okay. What? Coffee, computer, keyboard. (laughs) Shut up! Shut up! (laughs) Shut up. Arnold telling me to shut up. Quiet. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hope you don't have to dump out. Not you. (laughs) All right. Andrea. Andrea. Hello. Hi. What's up, Andrea? Not much. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Euclid. It's... Outside of Cleveland. Yuck. Hmm. And you want to come to our party Tuesday with Crystal Method? Yeah, me and my sister. Ooh, a sister act. How old's the sister? Sister's the same age. We're twins. Twin 18-year-old sisters. Uh-huh. From the Cleveland area. Are you lying? No. All right, what do you both look like? Um, I'm 5'7". She's a little bit shorter than me. Okay. Um, we both weigh about 110 pounds. Okay. And I don't know her exact size of uh, her bras, but I'm a uh, 36 C. Yeah. <laughs> and she's around the same, I would assume. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you are you synced up on your uh, female like cycles? <laughs> Yeah, um, about three days ago, so it's over. All right, it's over. That's I good. guess uh, us Cleveland girls are in sync with New York, so. No, it's a little different for Cleveland girls. Is right. it really over or still some dust in the flu? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's over. Could you, could you do a split on a white shag rug and not cause a ruckus? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know if I could do the split, though. All not that. All right. All right. Uh, Hair? Yeah. Hair? Um... <laughs> Mine's yeah. brown, um, but it's dyed red. Uh-huh. And um, hers is like a light, like, dirty blonde. Mm-hmm. And how long is the hair? Um, mine's past my shoulders, and hers is a little bit below her ears. Opie, now, don't jump to any conclusions here. A little right. below her ears, so it's a cute little bob cut? Yeah. Ah, cute little bob cut on an right. 18-year-old twin girl, Opie. <laughs> Keep your hands down. Yeah. I'm fine so far. All right. And how big are your shoes? How big are my shoes? Yeah. Um, seven and a half. All right. All right. Uh, boyfriends? Uh, I have one, and she has one. I don't really know if she'd consider him her boyfriend, though. Okay. <laughs> are your boyfriends going to be joining you? No. They're staying home. Good. Okay. Goes against the boyfriend rule, though. No, the boyfriend. We don't want boyfriends here. Yeah, I don't care if they have one. I don't and judge. And Opie, them. Uh, with the twin thing, you gotta uh, some, you know, you gotta give them a little, a little slack here. There you go. Yeah, my sister really wanted to go. She's at work right now, and she called me up to call you guys. Yeah. To get us to go. Twin eighteen-year-old <sighs> sisters. I'd say they're in. Are, are you considered cute and stuff? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, why don't you have a boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. I've had the same boyfriend for about four years now. Are you bored with him at all? No. And what will you be wearing? Um, It all really depends on you guys. We picked out two outfits that we thought were kind of cute and that we wanted to bring with us, but it depends on whether you guys want naughty or nice. Naughty. What do you think? One naughty, (laughs) one nice. One naughty, one nice. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea. But but like sexy, cute, nice, right? Oh yeah, like one of them um, is like an old. Like fashion nighty that like stops right before, like the knees. You girls, and all right. You know what? You girls are so in. It's not even funny. <laughs> we'll see you Tuesday, okay? All right. Come on down. Okay. Bye bye. Hold on the line though, okay? All right. All right. I think he will take care of that. Hopefully, if he's uh, if he's into the show today, Vito. Yo. What's up, Vito? What's going on, guys. Hey. Hey, sugar bear. What's up? Hi, sweetness. <laughs> Now, repeat after me very, very slowly, guys, okay? Yes, yes. Right. Details Magazine. Oh, yeah. Oh. Details Magazine. We were getting right to right. that. Now, we'll see, y'all had already moved on, by the, you know, with the delay and everything. I didn't know you were talking to the little chick. She sounded kind of hot. Yeah, she was hot. Twins. Yeah, they're going to be at our party Tuesday with Crystal Method. All right. Cool. Cool. Right. Punch it out. Thank you, Vito. Bye, Love sweet angel. Love you, too, sweetness. Yeah, this is a great article in Details Magazine. Mm-hmm. Um, why it's okay to pay for sex, Anthony, in some cases, or in a lot of cases. Okay. How about all cases? According to this uh, article. Um, uh, Pharrell. Hey, you guys, I hate to uh, off track you, but I swear to God, there's so many O&A bitches out here with big rack that I'm in Ractionville in Perth Amboy. Raction is everywhere. There's bouncing rack, and there is presents. There's drugs. There's everything. There's there's a we have a EMT, a vomit specialist. We have hookers. We have boxers. We have soap stars, drug dealers. We got it all. Actors, rock stars. Pharrell, Pharrell, are you going on a boat cruise? Yes, I'm on the good ship for Ellie Pop. The, uh, Don't you realize? Pharrell, <laughs> Pharrell, yeah. there's a, it's a monsoon outside. Yeah, but listen, but where we are, it's sunny. It already blew through, like, uh, going through all them noses in Cleveland. I was hanging out with the, the Jake Shaggy. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, so, I had a good time in Cleveland, man. I love that city. I had so much fun at that uh, baseball stadium. It's awesome. And uh, downtown Cleveland rocks. The Flats rock. And all your fans showed up at my bar for free beer. And I know I sounded like crap because I was on a deck of a like uh, uh, like a hotel looking on Lake Erie with dead fish. But uh, they love you there. And, and they showed up 100 deep, drunk as skunks. And I, I lathered up and just licked face with them. All right. Did you have fun, Angel? We're going to have a good time tonight. I know that. This boat is packed with 350 people already. It's four decks. It's all indoor. We're sucking down Jamaican red stripes. 
I don't I think the heavy stuff is going to come down for quite a while. A, he took a pee in a red striped bottle in a limo. Shake it in. <laughs> Shake it in. All right, bro. You have a good time, okay? <laughs> hey, you guys. Cool, man. Be cool. All right. Have fun tonight. Maniac. Shake it in. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> All right, so uh, Details Magazine, Anthony? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Sarah, what? Sarah. Hello? Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. What, what's going on? What's going on? Nothing much. I have a friend and myself are interested in your little shindig. Crystal Method party on Tuesday? Yeah. How old are you gals? 20. 20 years old, Opie, and they I both want to I assure you we don't look that old. Mm. That old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oof. Well, uh, you got to... <laughs> <laughs> I can't just say... Sarah. 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 Sarah Connor. Ah, Sarah Connor. Christy. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah or Christy. Sarah. They're not there anymore. Who happened? Oh. See, they must have thought we uh, we uh, lost interest in them. Oh, my God. Why don't you call back, uh, <laughs> you silly goose? Uh, Ross, what's going on? Hey, man, I am pissed, man. Why? I've been on hold with Ticketmaster for like an hour. Yeah. You're telling me there's no Jim Norton concert in Red Bank, New Jersey. <laughs> there is a Jim Norton show in Red Bank. Ticketmaster sucks. There is a Jim Norton show August 10th in Red Bank. Brother, I live no, in the I do, area. And listen, I'm, Angel Face, I'm not yelling at you. I'm telling you. A cookie puss, man. I've been trying to catch up with you for like three months now. All right, well, get a pen real quick. No, no wait. I'll, I'll get a pen. I'll tell you how to get hold tickets. On, Jim, Ticketmaster's saying there's no show. I don't care what Ticketmaster is saying. Was, maybe the show was canceled. They no. Said you they said you're playing Atlantic City, but you know it's near Red Bank. Dude, Atlantic City has sold out both shows. <laughs> so I just... Red Bank is 732. Get your pen, Ross. 842-9000. August 10th at the Count Basin. But, Ross, they're saying no, uh, no show, right? They say they don't even know who Jim Norton is. Because they don't have me uh, <laughs> listed on Ticketmaster. Because the promoter thought it would be a good idea to say, yeah, get tickets to Ticketmaster. Let retard boy link it. So I link it. Everybody's going. They're going, what? No show. We can go somewhere else. I don't know, man. I've been trying to catch up. You're always sold out when I try to get to you. Thank you, Angel. Well, try me August 10th there, and, and you can get me there. All right, Bobby. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye Bye. Ross. Thank you. Oh, that really bugged me. I think Ross was a troublemaker. <laughs> people just know what gets to people, That's man. Just, I, I don't know if he was kidding or not, but just to say that they said there was no show. All right. I'll be there with bells on, a little book full of jokes to tell that whole audience that shows up. What? <laughs> I'll have a little little notebook full of jokes for everyone. Yuck, yucks. Sometimes I even walk on and go, <clears throat> good evening, ladies and germs. The whole place claps and waves. This guy's crazy. <laughs> All those germs. <laughs> Instead of gentlemen. <laughs> ben, you should really be uh, shot for having your party last night. Why? You really should. Oh. I have to explain why you have to do it on Thursday night. You have to do it on Thursday night because in the summer in Manhattan, everyone leaves town. They go to the Jersey Shore. They go to Newport. They go to... The yeah. Okay. I have to do it that way. Better yet, if I did it on my real birthday, Monday night, then that would be worse. Yep. She yeah. tastes Friday. Yeah. That's right. true. Well, you can okay. shoot me. Uh, what should he be shot with? Hopefully not Metamucil. <laughs> <laughs> did it? Did it? Did it stink up the bathroom? Oh. Then I was waiting for uh, Richard Dreyfus with AIDS there to come in. <laughs> oh, that faggot with the beard who loves to run in there. After I, you... you know what? I really hate you, having to use that bathroom too. If anyone else comes in, I hate that. I don't like using any bathrooms when people are in there. If I got a crunch, man, because it's a very private moment for me. <laughs> Yeah, very private moment. And sometimes you get such a bad stomach ache and you really got to go. And I run to the back and he's got the door propped open. The Richard Drivers with AIDS guy that cleans yeah. the bathroom. And he's got the door propped open with his cleaning <laughs> equipment cart blocking the door open. And I come around that corner and go, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm just going to crap myself. The, we the weird thing is he, he cleans the bathroom for a really long time. Long time. And he has the Breathe Right strip over his nose so he can enjoy every odor. He makes me sick. Hey, Jacques Cousteau, clean it at midnight. You don't have to clean it at 7 p.m. He loves being in there when he knows show guys are taking dumps. He really does. 
And he acts like he doesn't know English. Yeah, he shuffles around, doesn't even put gloves on, just scrubs out the toilet. Hey, if something winds up under my nails, well, I'll eat it on the way home. Oh, Elbow in the ribs. He makes me sick. I don't even like taking a leak when, when uh, he's doing that. The door's propped open. People are walking by. You're just standing there. The guy doesn't understand. Close the door. Clean your the, the stuff at night and get out of there. I took a leak next to Earl the other day, and I looked right over. I was just staring right at his mule. Boy, Earl, are you a myth breaker. <laughs> Earl looked like he might have five I was in perfect the, conditions. I was in the stall, and I heard him yell, stop that, and yeah. I didn't know what was stop. going on. Because I'm standing next to him, and I am looking right over past his shirt, and I could just get a full view. Very, very unimpressive. <laughs> Earl likes to talk too when you're in the bathroom. He's one of the guys that you'll be in there and you'll be like a talker. He likes to talk. Dude, it's a little I, awkward. My two buddies at Pergament when I used to work there, this guy Malcolm was taking a dump and him and this other dude were passing a pound cake under the door. I swear to God, oh. the guy's under the door and all of a sudden I see a pound an pound cake come back up and the guy outside takes it, takes a bite. <laughs> That's the guy taking a dump, a pound cake. <laughs> I never will feel my buddy Malcolm McGee and another guy. I forget the other right, guy. Hey, Awful. Joe, what's up? Hey. Hey. I just called Ticketmaster. Yeah. And I said I want to see the Ed Norton show in Red Bank, New Jersey. Ed it's Norton. Red Bank, right? It's not Red Mule. It's not Red Neck. It's not Red Butt. Right? It's not Norton. Ed Norton. <laughs> you idiot. What is it? It's not Jim Ed Norton. Norton. Jim Norton. No, 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 no. My point is I asked for Jim Norton, and the woman said, are you talking about Ed Norton? I said, no, I don't want to see the honeymooners. I'm looking for Jim Norton. I hate this and call. Said, oh. Yeah, he's trying much too hard. Sir. All right, all right, all right. Ivan, what's up? Uh, hey, boys, how you doing? Little Jimmy, happy birthday. Happy Listen. birthday <laughs> to <laughs> me. Listen, I'm on Ticketron.com. At this moment, there's a big slash across your face. It says postponed. You You're li You have to be lying. That's not true. I was not postponed. I'm on it now. Put it on. Picatron.com. I don't postpone. Put it on. Is that what your computer lingo? Put it on. Hey, it's listen, on channel WW dot. Shut it. Got Adjust canceled. the aerial. Dude, I'm not canceled. You, just postpone a big flash. All right. One time, uh, one time, my father took uh, us to Nathan's. Are we going to go to... Went to to talking about dumps? Nathan's. Yeah, real quick, because this just reminded me of the pound cake story Jimmy just told us. He took us to Nathan's, you know, the, the hot dogs, famous for their hot dogs, and they serve fried chicken and stuff. So uh, we went into the bathroom, because, you know, my dad took his uh, two sons, and then we all had to take a leak. So uh, we go into the bathroom. We passed by the stall, and one of the stalls didn't have a door. And sitting on the ball was this old black guy eating Nathan's fried chicken. Uh, just sucking on a wing right there on the ball. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. Uh, Some people don't care. Mike, you're next on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, you know, maybe you guys are better off just telling us where we can buy Details Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Call 842 9000 in the 732 area code. Uh, no they problem, might say sweetie. Count Basie, but they sell Details Magazine. <laughs> I hope Ticketmaster burns. <laughs> oh, God. My stomach is hurting today. Uh, Mag well, I guess who else's was. <laughs> 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 and he's finished with that cheesy oh, pizza. Oh, pizza. Bowel moving Ben. <laughs> pizza and coffee. What's that? What's that beverage? Fleet? <laughs> He's dripping sweat from his forehead oh, already. Ben, right, well, it's a day after a crazy party. Right it's under, like, where Ben's, where Ben's hair meets that, there's just sweat trickling down. It it's awful. Oh, my God. He's going to look like he rode his 10-speed bike through a mud puddle up the back. I bet you when he pushes on those dumps, his little feet come up off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> the little feet come up off the floor. <laughs> Got to take off a little toilet paper and... Unfog his glasses, put him back on, and fog up in the heat. Hi, <laughs> Have you ever been in the bath in a bathroom though? In that situation, like there was one guy, it was like a year ago, that worked uh, in the other office on the other. That would be like <laughs> in there. Oh, it's horrible. It's the worst. I hate this oh. guy. <laughs> oh, the ah guy. <laughs> oh, 
Ah. Oops, the fastest bathroom guy I've ever seen. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, give me the key. You'll be back. He'll be back in No. Like, um, and those are all dumps, too, yeah, man. No, I, I don't mess no. around. Perfect blonde surfer dumps. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. They slide right out. All right, we're healthy. You're healthy. Bye-bye now. If, they, if they're fast, it means you're you're doing a world of hurt to your underwear. <laughs> I know. I, you're I, just I, pulling them yeah. off and running out. Yeah. When Sometimes you, know, you gotta sit down and let things cool down. <laughs> when do you? When, he knows it's time to go, and he feels a little tickle on his ankle. <laughs> Your leg falls asleep. You get off the ball looking like a newborn fawn. Got a butt hickey. Dude, I was walking with my buddy Bill D'Angelo to school when I was a little boy, and this is true. I ha I used to hate using public bathrooms. Of I had a log fighting to get out. <laughs> Absolutely true story, and I was clenching, so and I cool. guess I guess the front piece made the escape when I clenched, and it dropped, his, and I kicked, and it came out, and I never lived that down. I believe it was in fifth grade on Newton Street in North Brunswick. <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little roly poly piece of log flew right up. You're free. I said it's free. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. I broke a piece off accidentally and then left. The first time I met um, Rick's wife, yeah, we traveled down to Florida to you know check out Rick and his and his new girl there. Yeah, I crapped my pants. <laughs> do it, do it. No it, joke, he'll tell it you. Was, it was the most embarrassing thing ever happened to me. I had shorts on because it was summer. <laughs> And they're like, all right, we're going to go drive to Orlando. And as they left, and it was, and it was five minutes later, they're back in my apartment. No, no. It's just like, let me in, let me <laughs> no, in, let me no, in. No, 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 no. It's a lot better than that. Oh, I was wearing boxers. Boxers was, you know, pretty in back then. And uh, I was saying goodbye to Rick and his, uh, his girlfriend on their stoop. <laughs> I thought I could let one slide out. Oh, God. <laughs> that is <sighs> Rolling right down the Oh my god. That's horrible. Oh my god, that's awful. Rolled right out. Send it free. Yeah. That's, that's terrible. Then spent the next hour just teaching his bathroom a lesson. <laughs> god, that's great. It's such a true story. It's a. Oh. Yeah, they're right on the front too. <laughs> well, we'll see you guys later. I must say, I don't think I've ever had one let go on me. You know, when in doubt, just clinch and take the pain. You guys remember the year of the Boston Marathon, the chick that ran? Do you remember that? Uh, Uda Pippig. Yeah. Oh, Uda, God. she won the marathon just with every fluid no, she, possible. She was having her time and, yep. and diarrhea at the same time. Yeah, as she crossed the finish line, they put that foil blanket around her. Oh. It's a mess. <laughs> Oh. Her pants look like a hostess raspberry cake exploded. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, it looks yummy, but it smells like copper. <laughs> Sometimes, though, you know you're done and nothing else is happening, but you just got to sit it out. <laughs> sit out the burn. <laughs> Wet a paper towel and then oh. make a fire block. <laughs> Whew, Jesus Christ. Don't want your what underwear. An awful conversation. <laughs> Women will never see the joy of a good dump chat. That's one thing that will always separate the. This got, other guy got, out I am there. crying. I got tears coming down my eyes from these stories. Every guy's enjoying this. They're all like, "Yeah, man, I, I really understand that." Oh God! Every woman thinks it's gross. But we should it's move horrid. on. Horrid. Mm. When I first moved to New York, uh, I had a few friends over one night in my old little apartment. And uh, my friend Decker went to the bathroom. It smelled so bad, I puked out <laughs> onto my screen out in my courtyard of my building. And all the puke, it was that bad as well. The puke got caught in the screen. It was the most disgusting thing ever. Did I ever tell you the time my buddies Bill and Frank were over? Still Bill, the same white. I swear to God, just to be silly. Just to be a silly goose. And I covered it with another piece of awful crumbly pepper farm white. I put a little club sandwich thing in it, and I, as a goof, I showed them, and then I put it in the street, and a car ran it over. <laughs> it's a true story. Oh, oh, crumbly white pepper spoon. Those, those times you have that horrible realization when you're well past the bathroom that you didn't clean up well enough. <laughs>
<gasps> as you're walking, you just know this is really going to be bad when I get home. Tonight. And it starts to burn. You feel like you have a, a salty potato chip in there. <laughs> <laughs> Get home, your underwear looks like a used <laughs> shoe shine rack. <laughs> You're killing me. Dude, I was at my buddy Marvin's house one time, and I would never wipe good enough. It's true. Wait, careful. Okay, I'm um, certain. I would, let's just say that I would continually do it and always leave a little residual uh, evidence. <laughs> never yeah. clean up good enough. And I would always be, one time it was burning and raw. You know how you're like 12 and it gets raw and sore? And I absolutely, I swear on my life, I saw a tube of Aquafresh toothpaste. I'm like, boy, that looks cool and refreshing. Oh, no. And I dolloped a Stop big it. old abs August 10th Red Bank. I dolloped a fingerful, absolutely, right in between. And it was I, wonderful for 10 seconds. <laughs> and then it was, my balloon knot was on fire. I had to run back into Marvin's house. Of course. Now. Toothpaste. All right. Marvin Nash. Right, buddy Marvin. He's Jewish and Puerto Rican. You know what we're going to try to do next, Ant? <laughs> Not the hooker. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> they ain't buying that anymore. God I'll damn. read the first paragraph, though. Oh. This is what you have to look forward to on Monday. Let me begin by stating I wouldn't dream of paying for sex. Never have, never will. The thought of $120 worth of gentleman's relief at the local uh, massage parlor, unless it's before 4 on Sunday, in which case it's ninety two fifty. <laughs> Disgust me. Nevertheless, I have a very close friend who's indulged once or thrice, and I'd like you to consider the possibility that he isn't a complete loser. Maybe, just maybe, paying for a piece isn't as morally reprehensible as Lynn Cheney would have us believe. Paragraph two, hopefully Monday. Ooh. <laughs> That's a team. Isn't that right? And we'll, and we'll take your stories. Oh. Remind us, please. <laughs> yeah, stories? that did so good today. You know what? It really worked out today. I don't know if the listeners learned anything today, but we're going to try. I'm taking a dump. We're going to try, though. I think we might get some good stuff. Dump, dump, eighth. Did we play... Uh, Painted blood. Did we play Rick's Muppet song? <laughs> I don't remember. The AIDS oh, Muppet? Yeah. The AIDS Muppet Show? We tried to play it. Oh, Pablo talked over it. Oh, yeah, he talked over it, so we'll play it again. It's very funny about the um, oh, my God. HIV puppet. Now he's Muppet Joe tonight. It's time to get a mouthful. Hey, wow, this new guy's died. It's time for Swords and Legion. He's Muppet Joe tonight. Our blood is really tainted. We know we're gonna die. So why should we use condoms? I just bagged me three more guys. It's time to get things started. So loose can tell I farted. Why don't we get things started on the most sensational, homosexual, infectional, we love anal. This is what we call AIDS Muppet Show. Well, you guys are both stupid. You're like a black eye for all mankind. I don't think they're very nice people. The only way I could actually think they were funny was to be on heroin. The O.P. and Anthony Show. You know, I just like want to throw up. Feel the love. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, what's up, man? Look at all the stuff we didn't get to today. That means Monday we're already set to go. Uh, we don't have to prepare for Monday show. <laughs> Great. What's up there, Jimmy? Uh, you said to remind you. I just can't stop telling dump stories. <laughs> I was on my way the, with my buddy the, Paul. The, with the... The, the the door jam story is the best one, though. My buddy, that's, that's my friend, Jerry. He's like 45. And this was recently in New York. He was out jogging, and he had an attack of the stomach cramps, and he's like, uh-oh. So he hops in a cab. He can't even jog home. He hops in a cab. And he looks like a fourth-floor walk-up. He makes it all the way up. As he's walking into his apartment, he trips on the door jam and just right into his pants. <laughs> If he didn't trip, he would have made it. He would have made it fine, but the tripping on the door jam, his stomach muscle just went, go for it. And then just... There's that feeling you get when you get close. Your stomach you know? almost starts pushing you immediately. Yeah, you're like, oh my God, I'm here. And you're, you're going back and forth from leg to leg trying to get the old trow down. It's like, it's like your stomach can see where you are. It's like, all right, he's getting, he's getting there. Let's get ready to go. 
Yeah, oh, too friggin' funny, man. I took one in the woods one time on my way to steal comic <laughs> books with my buddy Paul, and I had actually not made it because my I definitely had uh, the definitely the turtle had poked his head out and made that little brown dime mark, like a little dime stamped in my, and I and I I'm in the woods. <laughs> I, I I swear to God, <laughs> it's like a little corporate seal, and I'm in the woods. Your wax seal on Napoleon's communique. <laughs> Like a little, you ever see like you ever see like little chocolate money? That's what it looked like. And so I, I obviously remove, and I'm standing there, and I'm finally getting some relief. And there are yellow jackets flying between my legs. I was near a beehive, and there were bees buzzing back and forth over my thumb. <laughs> The ones in the woods are great oh. when you're hunting or camping, and before you're even finished, before it even drops, the big green hide flies are landing on it. It's like at least let it hit the goddamn ground. And it just looks so piping hot <laughs> when it's a little chilly out. The steam coming off it, nice piping hot treat for flies. Ah. <laughs> oh. Is there anything better than a pipe and hot pocket? It's like a hot pocket. That's 92.3 degrees. <laughs> Dude, you got to mention the gas pace. <laughs> we never stopped, by the way. We took a commercial break, but we kept <laughs> even going during the whole we break. Kept talking and laughing. We should have taped that. Awful. The, the gas pain thing is Those hilarious. Those are the worst. Because I, I, I almost didn't. I, made, I haven't done this in a long time, but I almost didn't make it recently. And when you, when you go to school, I get really bad like, stomach gas pains. Yeah. And then you just, like, your belt's undone, and you're just ready to sit. And then you get that, like, <laughs> gas pain, and you can't sit. So I'm standing there, and I'm like, it's going to come out. But I couldn't sit because it felt like somebody was stabbing me in the stomach. <laughs> I love dump stories. They're always appropriate. <laughs> Oh, man. Chicks I am, never appreciate them. I am woozy from laughing so much. Jesus Christ, you guys. Girls, sit down. Boom, boom. Done. Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he just dumped his coffee all over the place. <laughs> you lost your iced coffee. You know what? We can't even play What Do We Learn Today, which means we got absolutely nothing done. Nothing accomplished nothing. today. On this but wonderful this is the Friday. Radio, this is the radio show you want to listen to, Boston. <laughs> Seems to be. Boston made us number one today. Men, 18 uh, to 49. Once again, Anthony. Yes, thank we you. We killed in the ratings in Boston, so we want to thank the fine people of Boston for... Uh, Supporting the show, Anthony. Thank God it Thank is you, a Boston. Friday. We're now number one in New York, Philly, and Boston. We'll see what Thank happens uh, in D.C. on Monday. Yep. I guess that's it. That seems to be it. If you're it's in, the You Who Pants and Anthony show. If you're in Boston, stay tuned for <laughs> Melissa. If you're in New York, stay tuned for Ron and Fez. If you're in Philly, stay tuned for Cousin Ed. Isn't Kid Chris following us in Sacramento? Yep. We did well in the, the Sacramento ratings today. Not yeah. number one yet, but we're uh, more we're, gooder. We're heading that way. So thank you, Sacramento, as well. Okay, Good. Good. right? No, I'm not looking today. All right. Well, that's how it ends. I guess. There you go. <laughs>